Yo, I should go with Solid Snake for Halloween. Dude, yes. Oh, that's fantastic. I didn't even think about that. Dude, I'm totally going to go with Snake for Halloween. Tofu's Snake, uh... Tofu's Snake cosplay was sick. It was Raiden. <laughs> Is it Raiden or Raiden? Excuse me while I go subscribe to the 8-Bit Big Band. Yeah, they're great. They have I got a lot of their stuff in my Jazzy playlist, too. With those sunglasses and mustache, Mickey looks like a guy that complains to management when a band plays a non-jazz song on jazz night. All right. Here we go, Boyfriend Dungeon. I'm gonna make out with a battle axe and you can't stop me. This game may include references from to unwanted advances, stalking, and other forms of emotional manipulation. Play with care. Don't take any notes. Don't use any of this as information. It's Raiden, but it should be Raiden. No, I think Raiden is, because if you were saying it in Japanese, it'd be like that. My name, Kim. No, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be not solid, slick, slick, Mick. Crawling through the boyfriend dungeon with slick Mick. Eyes? Hmm. I think I want to be smiling. I think I want to be smiling. Hairstyle. I'll go with the, the Sasuke here. All right, cool. You can change anytime you want in the apartment. Game sometimes will send you supportive messages from a character named Mom. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Final boarding call for Verona Beach. All passengers, please board immediately. All right, I'm going on the... I'm going on vacation. Ooh, cutscene. Okay. Thinking of Raiden, Raiden from Mortal Kombat? Yeah. Because lightning in Japanese is Rai, I'm pretty sure. The only reason I know that is because of uh, the Rai Kage in Naruto. He's the lightning dude. Found HQ. Hey, welcome to Verona Beach, cuz. It's me. Whoa, Jesse. Scott, I don't even have to do the reading? Fantastic. Mom said you'd grown up, but I had no idea. You're so much taller. Thanks. Sorry, I just remember you as a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> Cousin problems. I was in college, and you were like in the fifth grade or something. Back before California. Okay. Doesn't matter. Come on. I'll show you your room for the... He leads you upstairs. You can stay here until my lease runs out. Oh, come on. I gotta read now? I moved uh, out to live with my partner last month, so you get free rent. Mm. Sick. Plus, we'll have the whole summer to solve your little problem. Excuse me? Your mom said you hadn't gone on a date, like not in your whole life. It's not a big deal, but I'll do what I can to help you. It'll be a summer of love. <laughs> or if you prefer, a summer of totally platonic, friendly hangouts. Those are good too. I'm not a pickup artist, but I'm pretty sure I could teach you something about meeting people. As long as you're willing to be a little adventurous, you'll, you've come to the right place. Verona Beach is a town for lovers, baby, so keep your eyes open. I won't guarantee you'll fall in love, but a date shouldn't be too hard to arrange. So what do you think your main problem is in love? Hmm. I think I'm I think I'm cursed. Yeah. Possible, but then it can't hurt to build up some courage. Curses take bravery to break. So I imagine. So let's make you brave. The first step in love is finding someone with similar interests and talking uh -huh. to them. So let's get you some confidence. There was a new fitness fad in Verona, perfect for meeting people and facing your fears. You gotta have an open mind. It's dungeons, not sex dungeons. Though I guess there are some parallels. Never mind. Don't think about that. You know, dungeons from like video games, D and D, that, but in real life. There's been more monster infestations lately, so people kill them for money. It's great for building confidence and also getting a workout. Plus, well, hey, um, I wanted to ask: Can you turn into a weapon? I can. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, I got Smith and Wesson right here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
You squeeze your eyes shut and imagine turning into a sword. Long and sharp. You open your eyes to see if it worked. Nope, your hands are still there. Ah, uh, don't look so sad, cuz. You can't do it, right? Me neither. Guess it doesn't run in the family. Transforming's big in Verona Beach. Around here, people like to call us wielders, at least. Around the weapon folk. You'll do great. I, where are the doms, I think? I think that's what I'm, I'm getting here. Especially after you get a combat lesson from a sword friend of mine. I arranged one for this afternoon. Cool tutorial. Oh shit, heart's beating. Stop, take a deep breath. It's not a hot date, it's a lesson. He's a bit of a straight edge anyway. Remember, wielding isn't romantic. Perfectly platonic friends can wield each other, okay? I've been, been trying to say this my whole life, Jesse. Been trying to say this my whole life. So, whenever you're ready, get out there and go to the mall. The mall has monsters? Apparently, something to do with common fears? I don't know, ask Isaac. He'll be waiting inside. He's a fencing teacher and a perfect professional. And in the meantime, I'll set you up a proper date. Always check your text messages. Jesse goes up to leave and then pauses. Uh, hold on. Uh, I forgot to give you a tour of the apartment. This is sort of all there is. I have ideas how you could use the shelves and desk, but we can talk about that after you've settled in. Feel free to use the mirror anytime you want See for ya. new looks. Okay, bye, Jesse. Crafting. I got my phone. Okay, let's check my texts. I have a text. Don't forget to... Uh, well, you were just here, bro. What are you saying? Also, I just saw in the news that there's a weapon thief out there. Weapon people are going missing. Oh, no. I can't do any of that. We're going to leave. We're just going to go. This is, a, this is an interesting... This is an interesting game so far. Be careful, it's dangerous. Are these California cousins or Alabama cousins? <laughs> uh, don't ask, don't tell. That's the rule I'm gonna play by here. Dungeon fear unidentified. Oh, cool, look, the ball's a cool dungeon, dude, look at this. I gotta roll, I can roll and that's it. Ooh, hello. Boyfriend dungeon. Well, I need an effect for that. Boyfriend dungeon. That's good. Yeah. You find a long, thin blade. The hilt fits neatly into your grip. A man's voice vibrates from the metal and up through your hand, you making you Jesse's jump. Friend. Hi, I'm Isaac. He's a sword! That makes so much sense! A pleasure Enchanté. to meet you. The pleasure is all mine, I assure you. <laughs> but I'm indeed in a stock at times. I love him! Forgive me for a in this form for now. It takes some effort to change shape, and I'd rather focus on the lesson at hand. Your hand on my hilt is as good a handshake as any, after all. Now, if you take the a look hilt around, is the hand. Take notes, see chat. In a mall. A dunge is a place you can confront your insecurities. Oh, he calls it a dunge. Here, That's so cool. Psychology will create monsters Ooh. to fight. I chose the mall because most people have fears that easily manifest here. What it kind? Depends on the person. Strangers, inadequacy, sterility. Yo, listen poverty. to the music in the background. Everyone's afraid of something. It Let's sounds go like it's gonna be dope. Around. Let's see if we can find any monsters to fight. Boyfriend dungeon. You can test out some basic attacks. Okay. Got stabby stabs, my favorite. I got deep stabby stabs. I already miss you? Who's. How do I check my phone? Verona Beach is a big city. It can be dangerous. Who texted me that? Oh, it's plus to you see the phone. Oh, it's mom. Always listen to your cousin Jesse and watch out for pickpockets. Uh, are you fine? Did you find the apartments? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just hanging out with a sword. We're just shaking each other's hands right now. Stay on your guard, okay? Aw, oh, love you too, mom. I almost sent her the smiley face. I almost hit mom with the dirty smiley face. <laughs> Any smilers on the chat? I love you. Get out of here, cell phone. Boyfriend dungeon. Nicely done. Your form is rough, but you have strong potential. You're not bad either, bud. <laughs> After 20 years of practice, I'd better have something to show for it. Now let's talk about that monster. It came from inside your mind. When I first started going to the dungeons as a wielder, I fought a lot of trucks. 
Tru trucks? Strange as, uh, strange as it is, I don't even hate trucks, and yet they manifested. They were monsters. Pickup trucks, dump trucks, even cement grinders. It's because I had some issues around masculinity and boyhood, probably from my father. Eventually, I worked through that and killed a boss monster truck. <laughs> My point is your phone monster can mean a few things. Maybe your fear is connections to other people and in intimacy. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. See right through me, Isaac. Ever since the moment we shook hands. We'll figure it out the deeper we explore into the dungeon. How deep does it go? As deep as your insecurities. So in a way it's up to you. We'll go as deep as we can today. And if we're too tired and collapsed, that's okay. We'll uh, still get to keep any treasure we find. To avoid fainting, look for beverages and keep your spirits up. You can hold three at a time and use them when you need. You can use the power of zines in combat. Press the zine button to use your dragon zine and breathe fire. Of course, the zine button. Right. Boyfriend dungeon. Oh shit. I used up all of it. I didn't realize it was limited. That's fine. I'll pick up some new zines. It's going to be okay. Tuck and roll, baby. Tuck and roll. Ah! See, this is basically Hades, Bree. We're basically playing Hades. Except, inst <laughs> except instead of choosing a weapon at the beginning, you have to slowly form a intimate relationship with it. 50% off? Of what? What is this? It's a locked box. Oh, it's another sword. Boyfriend dungeon. The hilt is cool, almost cold to the touch, but it quickly warms under your hand. The blade begins to transform. Let's see, I bet he's gonna be freaking smoking. Oh my God. Jesus. Jesus. Whoa. Well, hello, you two. Name Sunder. This is the. I want this one. <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance. Unusual to be here without a wielder, no? Yeah. To be honest, I'm not really sure how I got here. Last thing I remember is someone in a cloak chanting. Hmm. And now I'm all dinged up. I must have made someone really angry if they abducted me and chipped me. Whoever they are. But my luck is turning around because here you are. That's right. I didn't think anyone like you would be in the dungeon. Who? Yeah, me? You. No. Not talking to the monsters, that's for sure. There were other options. Oh, if you're into it. Maybe we can go on a date later. Would that be okay? Are you more sword or man? I feel like I want to know before we agree to this. I'm don't tell me you're obsessed with Bonnie Bynum. Wow, Sunder's Turns calling out me out, dude. Exclusivities <laughs> out there in the world. If we fight together, I'll protect you. All in, no matter the shape of this body. Maybe together we can figure out how I got down here. I mean, who would leave me here and not keep me in their embrace forever, right? Cool it, bud. Cool it. You know what? You, you're. The more I talk to you, the more I'm. I'm more on 50 50 i'm just sticking with my good old stabby rapier okay i'm glad Me you're too. okay though i'm tougher than i look older too but that's a story for another day now i'll just cut my way out of here while you two finish up your run i'll text you the damaged blade saunters away seeming to almost dance hmm. he was knocked out damaged and imprisoned here weapon forms heal quickly as they are made from our spirits more than our bodies Still, this is serious. I'll report our findings to the authorities. Let's keep our eye out for any other victims as we explore the dungeon. God, I... Boyfriend dungeon. I don't know if I hate... Oh, what the fuck? That's... I just got... Jump, bro. What is this, like... That was... That was bullshit, I think. I can't be certain, but I think that was bullshit. You feel the paramedics gently bring you to the surface and back to consciousness. You're bone tired, but otherwise unharmed. You realize you're still and holding that a sword. Our first lesson. Would you mind releasing me? 
Do I have to? I'm afraid so. <laughs> Until our next lesson, anyhow. The blade begins to transform. Oh, round two, guys. Oh, he's got a book. Oh, and a glass of wine. Oh, man. Classy Isaac. Oh, my God. Oh, look at his pin. It was a pleasure to train with you. Thank you. But I must get back to work. If I may say, your fencing style is rough, but has unusual potential. If you're interested in refining your form, come by my office. I have the gear necessary for lessons. We still have no leads on finding the source of your insecurities that form these monsters. So feel free to call upon me in the future when you need a dungeon delving partner. Until next time, then. All right, see you around, Isaac. With a small bow, he strides away. Dear Slick Mick, I am available for lessons. Um, <laughs> I met the sword man. How did it go? Wait, don't answer that. Let's talk in person. Okay. Okay. I'll provide equipment at my office. Uh, Brooks Associates, if you wish. Sincerely, Isaac. It's not a letter. No. Looking forward to it. Oh, Jesse's on his way. Boyfriend dungeon. A few minutes hey later. Guys, I heard you uh picked up Isaac, and he says you're a natural. We found another oh, sword too. Two swords in one day. What are the odds? Anyway, I'm glad it worked out. Isaac says you might be afraid of technology or change. Either way, I trust you'll work on it together. Even if you're not into him, it's good practice being normal alone with a handsome stranger. In case, you know, you, you might get nervous at all about the idea of dating. It was a good idea. You realize you do indeed feel a bit more relaxed about the idea of a first date. Jesse squints at you. Huh. Nerves are that bad, huh? At least you gained a bit of confidence. Well, lucky you, I went to high school with a guy that runs a sword shop, and he's single. At least that's what Eric's online profile says. I haven't seen him in person in years. He might be the only guy in town who knows more about swords than Isaac, but I got his number. Uh -huh. There we go. Free for coffee tomorrow. You in? Sure. <laughs> it's mostly a practice date anyway. Tomorrow at 11 a.m., uh, he'll be at Kicks, the cafe just down the street. Remember, just coffee. Talk about dungeons. Get to know them. The summer won't last forever. You got to meet new people sometime. So let's role play as some practice. Sure, whatever you're into, Jesse. Whatever. You just encountered the cafe. I am Eric, and I am sitting here waiting for you. What do you say? Hello. You try to say hi, but your breath catches in your throat. And you That's bullshit. I did not do that. Maybe try in a mirror tonight. This might be more work than I thought, but that's okay. You'll do fine. Practice Thank makes you perfect. For You're very cool and nice. Unmighty, thanks for the 46 Good months, dude. Good luck tomorrow, cuz. Sounds Jesse's like gone. a good time. Um, I got a few hours. What am I gonna do? Let's go for a walk. And stretch the legs. You wander around a few blocks and find a nightclub. Oh. We got we gotta. The music intrigues you. You stand and listen for a while. You notice a woman watching you from the VIP section, but you're too shy to talk to her. Eventually, you head home and go to bed. You wake up paralyzed with a deep, inexplicable fear. Today will be your first date for the rest of your life. What if? What if you're not even sure what you're afraid of, but it feels like you can't breathe? Um, count to ten. You slowly count, focusing on your thoughts. Eventually, you feel a bit better. You get to you get up and walk down to the coffee welcome shop. To Kicks. Welcome, welcome to Kicks. Mm. The man in the corner is waiting for you. You look around and see someone hey, waving at you. You're Jesse's cousin, right? I'm Eric. What's up, you Eric? Tell me everything you know about swords. Do you prefer one or two-handed? Definitely one. I sometimes like the speed of one-handed weapons, but it's a rush to use the heft of two hands. He waggles his eyebrows playfully. Ooh. Jesse said you're a dungeon crawling type. So I thought I'd offer my help finding a weapon. A weapon person? 
Nah, that's not really for me. Totally cool if you're into it. But my shop sells only pure steel. Oh, real weapons exist? That makes sense, actually. Some imported, some made on site. Maybe I could give you a, disc a discount to a fellow enthusiast who would give my blades a good home. Hmm. You seem like the kind of man who appreciates fine craftsmanship. So you're a smith? Exactly. exactly. I take raw, dirty hunks of metal and with finesse and strength, turn them into art. Well, I try anyway. I'm still learning. Video tutorials can only teach you so much, you know? Maybe someday I'll make something beautiful enough for you to wield. Wow. Putting it on, Eric. Putting it on. For now, here's a gift for a fellow craftsman. Maybe you can do something with these. Strong but flexible, like I want to be. Just like wire. And plastic. And bracelets recipe. Cool. You can make something out of this stuff. All right. Want to go on a proper date sometime? Maybe I need more frivolity in my life. I'd enjoy that. Mm -hmm. Excellent. If you need a weapon, maybe I'll see you again soon. Anyway, ciao. Seems pretty well put together. My character is gonna be bi, so we're gonna we're gonna be open to anything. You did it. You sort of went on a date. How'd it go? I think it went pretty well. I think that's what heart sparkle heart means. Meet more people before you propose. That's not... Is that what that means? Plus, I'll find you another date venture soon. But I want to date weapons. I'll see what I can do. I promised your mom I would help after all. So I'm going to find you someone nice. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. You know what? I don't know if I'm into Sunder. What about a free drink? Come to... To your club? I'll be there. <laughs> Just tell the bouncer you're with me. All right, man. Honestly, these guys text too much. I'm trying to make a bracelet here. You made bracelets. Wait for a gift opportunity to give it to someone special. Okay. All right. I got bracelets. Uh, okay, cool. I can look at my zines now. Just dragons all I got. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm really telling a lot about myself there, eh, Hamster Bob? <laughs> oh, but he owns a club. Boyfriend dungeon. Hmm? Bouncer. Name? I'm with Sunder. Bouncer unclips the velvet rope and lets you step inside. Oh, shit! Sunder is venting to a woman sitting next to him in the VIP area. But I just can't feel a real connection, you know? Mm -hmm. Join the club. And without love, what's the point? Hey, Slick Mick, do you believe in soulmates? I want to. Sunder hesitates, eyeing you. You wonder if you said something wrong. Uh -huh. Me too. I just keep getting so disappointed, I'm not sure anymore. Oh shit, my lover rank is here. <laughs> the more <laughs> you unlock higher level abilities. Yeah, that makes so much sense. I love it. They make it look easy in the movies. <sighs> Romance has been dead at least 500 years. Yeah, so Slick Mick, this is Mandy. She's my business partner, co-owner of the club. Charmed, I'm sure. And what kind of sword do you turn into again? <sighs> no, he's a wielder. I literally told you five minutes ago. Are you listening at all? What did you say? Yeah. You know, never mind. This is a good song. It's time to dance. I know you said you're not really into dancing, but I'm feeling healed from my abduction and dunge outing. What about you? Yeah, let's go for it. Tonight we dance like we're going to die in 50 years. I hope they give us a cutscene for this. Mandy kisses the bouncer on the cheek as she leads you and Sunder to the dance floor. Sunder mostly sways and sips his drink, but Mandy dances with abandon. You can feel the music thumping in your chest. I'm just... I'm gonna try some dance moves. You put your heart into every motion. Mandy takes it as an invitation to dance very, very close to you. Sunder smiles and leaves the dance floor in the direction of the bathroom. Mandy leans in, her breath warm in your ear. You should really be careful, little one. Ooh. Sunder eats up lovers one by one. He may seem nice, but he's a double-edged. Oh, that's great. That's a great line. 
I know you said you're looking for a soulmate, so believe me, Sunder isn't it. He lies and he's dangerous. He's using you. Wow, Mandy is just cock blocking out of the fucking park here. <laughs> His addiction, but he's too selfish and violent to be a good boyfriend. Then why are you his friend? Are you talking about drugs? Yeah, no, no drugs. <laughs> God has preserve us. He's addicted to the control he can get with innocents like you. But I like you. You're sweet. I'm just trying to help, so be Ugh. careful. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Good luck. Kisses you on the cheek and leaves. The crowd parts around a sword that seems to be dancing its way toward you. Mandy left, huh? Just do just us two now. Let's enjoy the moment while we can. Mmm. She warned me away from you, hey. Sunder. Hold on. We should talk about this while I'm in human form. I want to look into your eyes. I'll just have to prove her wrong. Everyone's done things they're ashamed of, but I'm a good person. I'll be good to you. Let's just keep it casual. Trust me, we'll conquer the dungeon, have a great time. We'll see. I'm not giving him too much here. We dance together late into the night until your breath. Okay, maybe I'm going to give him a little bit more than I thought. <laughs> Eventually, the night is over and you head home. Boyfriend dungeon. Oh, shit. It's, uh... Eric. Oh, my God. I don't... I don't... There's too much texting for me. Welcome. Really glad Jesse introduced us. Hey, me too. Sure. What's up, Chex? Thanks for the reset, man. 19 months. Prime action. Hello again, me too. I've been playing Rust recently and just started a cave base that's going better than usual. Nice. I have never played, but I've heard so much about it from Jakku and Boo. You should come by Naked Steel sometime. Scimitars have scintillating curves. Special price for a special guy. I'll think about it. Up to you, of course. I'll be waiting and hoping. Okay, good enough. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm... Listen. I'm... This is too much. These guys are too much. <laughs> Should I go buy clo I want to go to the dunge, man. Where's, um... Where's homeboy? I want to I wanna go to the dunge with you. You stopped at Isaac's office by his assistant. Excuse me, do you have an appointment with Mr. Brooks? I think hello, so. Hello. Slick Mick, you made it. Christine, Slick Mick is always welcome here. Yes, Mr. Brooks. It's good to see you. I was hoping you'd take up my offer. Let's begin. Do you prefer for foil, saber, or a pay? E -P? I have no idea. I'm going to go with saber. Mm. So you wish you were more quick and decisive. Interesting. We, you bitch, you don't know me. We shall see. Now re, now ready yourself. Don't mind the office equipment. I do this all the time. He shrugs on fencing gear with practiced ease. Now stand up straight and bend out towards, uh, with your blade out towards my heart. Turn to regard me from the side over your shoulder and hip. This is the ungod stance. You're quite literally on guard. We'll begin with the basic movement. Look into my eyes, advance me. Front foot, then back foot. Step forward. Try lifting your toes, don't cross legs. Now in foil, you can only score by hitting the torso. In saber, the upper body. But in the dungeon, you don't need to score points with any dungeons. I suppose that means we should use the A pay rules. Thank you, Rav. Uh, any hit counts. Let's try a lunge attack then. Extend your front leg with all your weight, keeping your front foot flat. No bent ankle. You lunge heavily forward, feeling a little awkward. <laughs> Not bad. You have talent. Anyone that doesn't look kind of dorky in a fencing outfit? It's a cool outfit. Ooh, holding roll lets you counterattack if used just before an, an attack. I like that. So you can parry with me now. The more time we spend together, the better we'll be able to fight together. This means something different for each weapon, but for me, parrying is a friends only maneuver. To parry in the dungeon, hold dot, yeah. That's a special move only you and I can do together. So don't forget. 
You can also check out our parry in the combo details in your phone later. But for now, shall we take a break? Hmm. Removes his fencing jacket. If you'd like to keep training with me, perhaps we should get to know each other better. Um, okay, what do you do? These days, I'm an investor. I've been quite successful with Slicer. What about you? You're a dashing dunge hero now, right? What do your parents think about your dangerous profession? Do they approve? Uh, Mom always supports me. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I do prefer life on the straight and narrow. There's a knock on the door. One minute, please. Isaac, what are you doing? Who is this? Shouldn't you be working? I said one minute, please. You can wait in the lobby. So you're just going to keep a guest waiting while you faff about? Vincent, we're 20 minutes early for our appointment. I thought I might have some priority in the life of my only child. I'm sure meeting me is probably the highlight of your week. I'm terribly sorry, Slick Mick. It seems I am occupied. I'll text you to set up our next appointment. You're texting now? What's next in your slumming schedule? Will you drink water from plastic bottles too? Horrifying. Are there any depths you won't st Wow, this is a... That's a... Oh, no, I don't eavesdrop. No. Boyfriend dungeon. Sorry we were interrupted. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to just tell him straight up. Back off a little. A little. Do you care for business talk? I don't mind it. Yo, Callie, what's up? Do, 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 do. Yeah, you walked in on some interesting gameplay. I haven't looked at chat in a hot minute. This game moves quick. It's wild. Perhaps I'll advise you when I'm next audited then. I'm not a fan myself. Maybe I'll explain how I got into this someday. Okay. Do, do, do. Wow. That's mean. It's crazy Jesse has a cousin like you. He's a loser or he was in high school. That's my cousin. You're the loser. No offense. Wow, yeah, no, I'm not even gonna text that guy back. Fuck that guy. Yo, you don't make fun of my cousin, dude. Chat, can we all be on the same page here? This guy's a douche. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't, we're not, we're not, we're not going there. Fuck your store, dude. I'm going to the mall. Uh, and I'm going with Isaac, because he's chill. Verona Mall. All right, we're back. You're really brave to confront your fears in the dungeon. So thanks, often. Isaac. Isaac understands me. Oh shit, I got hit. Ooh, money. Money, money, money. Shit, it's a lot of phones. It's a lot of phones. Oh, nice. I got some wire. Think of all the shit I could do with some wire. I found sugar. Cool. This mall's got everything, man. Eh. Is this just Digimon World? <laughs> this is... What is this? I've been playing now for a solid 30 minutes and I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> it's Hades, except if you want to use a weapon, you have to go on a few dates with it and tell it, tell it off if it's a douche.
trying to parry here. Ooh. Ah! I only have one heal left. Dude, it's, it's hard to avoid damage in this game. Like, really hard. Not gonna lie, this looks kind of cool. It kind of is. I definitely don't think it's something I would spend a lot of time playing if I wasn't a streamer, though. Oh, shit. Boyfriend dungeon. Like, this is a game I definitely would play with a friend. <laughs> the hilt is wrapped in several layers of leather, and the double-edged blade is chipped. What the hell? Could you not just, like... Grab me without warning. That's a, I know that's tradition fair. is all choose your weapon, but consent is important. I'm no, sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I didn't mean to. Snap, I didn't know that just... was off the table with swords. Sure I was under the impression on. this was a handshake. I was out at night as you do, and then, bam! I'm here. My blade hurts. Monsters everywhere. I'm Valeria. Nice to meet you. Sort of. You were I guess abducted so. and damaged too. Normally, I'd switch to human form around now to be polite, but I don't know you. I'm still recovering from whatever just happened. I'd rather play it safe, and I'm certainly not going to put myself in a stranger's hands and let you use me. That's fair, man. I can take care of myself. That's fair. Could use some extra cash though, so I'll keep in touch. What the? You think you think you can? Ciao. Who says I give a boyfriend dungeon? Who says I give a shit about you? Two ways, dude. Two ways. Yo, Zanzas, thanks for the 35, man. I hope you and the Axe find true love. One day, man. Want to be... Who, who sent this? You! I gotta use a heal. Critical hit. Super slick moves. Dating like a champion. Dude, I gotta use these quick stabs. That's the answer here. I don't know why I'm going for long stabs. The old technology symbolizes change, I believe. See right through me, Isaac. You see right through me. Is this the stairs? I'm not ready to go down just yet. Yeah, that was fucked up, man. Like, we don't- we hardly know each other. Don't talk to me. I'm a sword in a dungeon. But if you ever- if you ever got any cash lying around, hit me up. <laughs> if you ever got any, uh, money-making schemes going on, make sure I'm the first one you text. I gotta try using my zine sometime. Oh, shit! No time like the present. Oh, wow. That's all it does? It did four damage. That was useless. Okay, you can stab the projectiles. That is very helpful knowledge. That is very helpful knowledge. Oh. Isaac eyes the massage chairs considering. Those look acceptable. However, I took a course in massage therapy long ago. I could give you a massage if you'd like. <laughs> you know what, Isaac? <laughs> Go deep, man. Uh. Go deep. You think he might be blushing? Excellent. I'll start with your fingertips and work my way to the lower back. <laughs> Just relax. Deep breath, chat. Deep breath. Deep breath. <sighs> You feel Isaac work the stress and tension out of your limbs, back, and neck. <sighs> deep breaths, deep breaths. When he's finished, you feel a deep lethargy, but renewed flexibility too. 
There we are then. I hope that was acceptable. <laughs> no ha No, he's a classy dude. He's been an absolute gentleman. Thank you. You're most welcome. It was a pleasure to use an old skill. But I'd like to offer a gift. Yeah, man, here. I made you a bunch of bracelets. I'd rather not if it's all the same. It suits you better. Wow. That's fair. I mean, you know what? Straight up. No point in... No point in pretending it was a good present. I'm sorry, Isaac. I fucked up. Oh, God. He hates me now, guys. Ooh, we got to get him to level two. Oh, it's VHS tapes. Oh shit, I'm breaking them all open. I need the money. What happens if I go in here? It's a clothing store? Oh, it's got a challenge. Okay. And a chest. Let's open the chest first. A teddy bear recipe. Okay, so we find gifts in the dungeons. I get it. I totally get it. Challenge complete. Can't break that one, eh? All right. Uh. Took a lot of hits there. game is an absolute an absolute masterpiece so far the vending machine offers some choices bubble tea sugar by five or mystery box for five dollars that could be anything what did i get oh what the fuck climb down in the darkness boyfriend dungeon oh what you allow humans down here now? Hmm. I thought this place was exclusive. I gotta save up money from the dungeon and stop getting defeated by the likes of yous. Ah. ah, it seems you're worthy to shop at the heart of Arona. Hmm? 70. Better than you're the one in your phone? Probably. Blue lipstick, crimson lips. Okay, I'm I'm broke. I'm broke? So, none of it. Oh, I wasn't ready to go down to the next level. Oh, no. Ugh. Drink one of my teas. Fireball! Fireball again! I should use these more. Oh, they leave them on fire? The fireball's way better than I thought it was. Alright, how are we doing on cash? Who is your guys' favorite weapon so far? If you guys were playing, who would you try to get with? I appreciate that Isaac's got his shit together. The rest of them feel like they don't got their shit together. The one that asked for money. <laughs> Come 
good answer. Ah! Fucking... Hydration is important. What, am I thirsty? Isaac has daddy issues. They've all got something going on. At least he didn't call my cousin a loser. What a lame move. I found glass a couple of times. Cool. What if your cousin is a loser? Yeah, that doesn't fucking matter. The point is, it's my cousin. Can't say it to me. This looks like a safe place to get away from your fears. Except for the sculpture. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. I often like to think of cats when I'm fencing. They have such poison grace, especially mm -hmm. when they hunt. But perhaps you prefer dogs. Uh, I do like... I feel like I like them both. Oh? Even snakes? <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Give me the goofy right there. He touches your hand and smiles. Would you like to offer a gift? No, he fucking made fun of me for my bracelet last time. Vodka recipe? Dude, we're homebrewing vodka now? Okay. This is my kind of game now. I'm gonna use my last boba. I hate the thing where they gave the sword people forms. Let me date a sword, not a. But they're both. We'll give it a good home. Yes, I will give this money a good home. I think it adds so. I think. I think it wouldn't be. It'd be funnier if it was. If they were always swords. But it's already pretty funny as is. I want to meet an. I want to meet a battle axe. I want to see what personality they give like heavy weapons. Because so far we've met a bunch of like weapons that are like one-handed dagger type weapons. They, and you know what? They all feel like they have sharp personalities so far. I'd even say. Yeah, that's right. Burn, baby. Oh, shit. I can't take much more. No! How did I get stabbed, bro? Enemy slain. Oh, nice. Wielder level three. Wielder level four. Wielder level five! And, oh man, Isaac and I can't get to level two yet? Oh man. That's rough. I wanted to... I wanted to... Are you kidding? He really just sent me a you up? Is there a block option? Is there a block option? No, if I'm not responding to that. <laughs> Okay, I know you've always been afraid of change. I'm glad you're facing your fears. I believe in you, but Jesse says you're fighting monsters. I hope you picked a less dangerous career like Cobra Wrestling. Um, it's perfectly... I'll be careful. She's not going to like that. Hey, this is that dagger you met? I'll give her a chance. I'll get to know her a bit. You know, why not? Oh, hold on. I'd like to practice more parries. I often practice at the mission. Care to join me? Oh, okay. I'll be at the Sanctuary of San Drogo. All right, but I'm going to meet up with, with her first, I think. Let's see what I can make. 
Can I make vodka yet? No. I need... What is that? Like, silk or something? <laughs> Teddy bear, no. I can make fried mackerel. All right, if I get an opportunity to gift another, another gift, I've got fried mackerel. I've heard the term that a good dinner is the way to someone's heart. I've heard the term. Here he is at the Mission Street. Oh, what's up, clerk? It's a funny name. Ooh, fabric. I can make vodka now. <laughs> Good. Exactly what I needed to be able to make vodka. What should I buy, guys? Should I get a camo jacket? I don't like any of the outfits here. I don't want any of them. Your store sucks. What is the... What is it? What is that? What is on sale here? It's a theater. I can buy operative... 80 bucks? See ya. Can you choose the gender of your character, or is it forced heter homonormativity? Yeah, I no, I think it ever you got the chance to date whoever you want. Yeah, you choose your gender, but I, it gives you you don't choose your the, the, the orientation. It's the word I'm looking for. I need more sugar. You just like kind of get hit up by everybody, and you're like, all right, whatever. They introduce. They introduce, um, they introduce the whole concept of fighting with someone as very platonic as well. So it's like, either way, you can, if you're uncomfortable doing one or the other, you're just like, well, you know, we can always go dungeoning as friends. Just don't like you that way. Okay, let's bring, where's my dagger? Where is she? I thought we talked about getting together I guess we didn't really talk about getting together all right I'll go practice I'll go practice with our boyfriend dungeon the church sanctuary makes a surprisingly good combat training space it seems very strange hmm. you're improving but your parry is actually a bit too consistent you can try going a bit slower or faster or try a new parry direction so, so, so surprise is the spice of life and fencing go on take a stab at it um parry diagonally yeah perfect form just lovely you have a perfect form oh. too what i'm not even oh well um thank you let's resume You practice parries and lunges for a while. <laughs> nice work. You even have me sweating. I'm just getting started. You launch into a duel and he doesn't spare you an inch. He deflects every thrust, knocking them aside and scoring on you. Raw. You rush him in a flurry of attacks, which he defends with poise. Aha, yes. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't frustrate you. I just wanted to see your true level. We learn most when we are challenged, after all. Just the tip, bro. <laughs> I didn't mean to show off. I get impatient sometimes, I suppose. And you handled me rather well, I must say. The timing is more forgiving. Oh, I can choose. Knocks enemies back further. Timing is more forgiving. Hmm. We could continue or take a break. How are you feeling? Why are we in a church is the question I have. My mother raised me in this church. It's a comforting place. She wasn't as kind as your mother, as it, so it sounds like. But she did some things right. She came for the community mostly, but I took it more deeply. There are so many mysteries in this life, Slick Mick. Some people suffer. Others become so swords. Those are your two options. <laughs> Those are your two options. 
Did I ever change my stream title? Am I still under Zelda? Yeah, I've been streaming under Zelda this whole time. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I did. I'm gonna date a battle axe and you can't stop me. That was the title. There are so many mysteries in this life, Slick Mick. Some people suffer and others mm. because <laughs> it's the funniest thing I've heard in my entire life. <laughs> a purpose is helpful. Do you believe in a god of some kind? I'm sorry, I don't. I would feel so alone without something greater. Even so, I hope this doesn't come between us. At least we can agree that love is power. Not just lust. Real, generous, patient love. Mm. I'd like to think that love can connect anyone. No matter what deity we believe in or don't. There are so many suffering people. I want to help them all. I know you like talking business and... I see it more as a powerful tool. I started Brooks Association Associates to tackle wealth inequality, but most wealthy people aren't interested. He released a long sigh, shaking his head. Anyway, I wanted to thank you for handling my father so gracefully before. Vincent can be a difficult man. Lots of saber rattling. Is he a businessman too? We all have our bad days. Is he a say? I feel like I don't want to throw the why don't you stand up to him. You know, like we're, we just met. I'm not going to hit you with like any any of that just yet. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll get to know more first before I start buttoning. in. Is he a saber? Right. Yes. My mother was the only one who could wield him. I don't think he used that form since she passed. I can barely talk to him at all. He wants what he thinks is best for me still. Perhaps I should try to say something. But no matter how sharp I get, I can never get a word in edgewise. How do you work up the courage to go into the dunge, even when you're afraid? Wait, your dad's a dunge monster? Hmm. Well, my father does appear randomly in my, and my health suffers, but life is always more complicated than a dungeon, isn't it? We all have our own strategies for survival. Even in human form, I find it easier to parry than to go on the offensive. A crowd starts filtering in. Perhaps a service will start oh. soon. Out of time already. How it flies. Next time, I'll make sure we don't get interrupted. Yo, I got fried mackerel. Let's go! You know me so well. That's right, Isaac. If there's one thing we've talked about at length, it's your deep boyfriend dungeon. Love of fried mackerel. <sighs> All right, what's going on? I was thinking of going to the park. Oh, I got to meet the dagger. I found you another date. You've probably already, you've probably met her already. Who is it? Why was drips an option? Go to Paradise Lost tomorrow at noon. She'll, no, that's not the deal, bro. Tell me who it is. You probably already met her, but now I'm going to make it a mystery. So you fucking worry about it all day. You dude, fucking, what's his name? Eric was right. Jesse is a fucking loser. Sounds good. Let's go to the park. See you by the pond. Ooh, winky face. Ooh. Thank you for coming to practice. No problem, dude. I just, I'm leaving this asshole on... I'm not even leaving him on red. I'm leaving him on unread. I will. I'll be safe, mom. Okay, I gotta go to the park. Paradise Lost. Where's the park? I'm just doing laps right now. Is it by the beach? Oh, park. Yeah. Pacifica. Boyfriend dungeon. You arrive at the park, but you don't see anyone first. At first. And then you notice a small metallic gleam on a bench. Hello? Pick up the dagger. We just talked about that last time, dude. Oh, she's an artist. Oh, my. Ah, that's better. She stops and gives you a piercing look up and down. Wow. I really didn't get a proper look at you in the dunge. You're cute. That's direct. I'm a direct kind of person. Tell me if it ever bothers you, though. Thanks. By the way, thanks for meeting me in public. I know you're the one who rescued me, but I still don't know how I got down there. Or how my blade got chipped. In an ironic twist, someone's clearly backstabbed me. So I'm a little jumpy. Besides, safety first, just in case you're an axe murderer. Uh -huh. Though I suppose you're more likely to turn out to just be an axe. Not that it'd be a problem if you were. That'd be hypocritical, given my own... She leans closer and lowers her voice dramatically. 
situation. Look at that wink. Laying it on strong, Valeria. So what is it? You know your deal. You can tell me, I won't judge you. I just prefer to know upfront before anything happens. Um, I don't have a deal? Don't play that game with me. Everyone has motives. Things they want, things they're willing to do. A man approaches you, eyeing you suspiciously. Hello? Everything all right, V? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's peachy. Thanks. See you later. The man stares you down a moment longer before moving on. Sorry, that's a friend. Checking in to see I haven't been axe murdered. Yet, anyway. Look, don't take this the wrong way, but your story is too convenient. Out of town, newbie, never dated before. Yet, you're also just so charming and apparently great at combat. Something doesn't add up. Nobody's... Nobody's called me charming, Valeria. That's sweet, but I have trouble believing it. The truth is, we barely know each other. Dude, you... I... I... You called me! <laughs> She stands, you know you have to say something or you'll never see her again. Then get to know me! <laughs> you feel a little breathless at your own daring, but Valeria's eyes warm a little. I suppose that is why I came to Verona Beach. New start, new friends. Enemies nearby get confused when you roll out of sight. Um, and if you, if you turn out to be an evil mastermind, well, keep your enemies close, right? Right. Say la vie. Would you like to offer a gift? Oh, you she look at how many bracelets she's got on. She's gonna love this. Ciao. With one wary look, she stalks away through the park. You head home. Boyfriend dungeon. Oh dude, she already hit me up. She already hit me up. Wow. I should make Oh, you can't make him again once you make him once? Interesting. Next time a real date, one where I don't accuse you of being a murderer. Or an axe, though I knew a nice one once. Anyway, I think my blade is mostly healed. Glad to hear it. You're welcome. Uh, what's the right... Thanks for coming to my practice. I'm so pleased with your progress. What's the right emoji to use? <laughs> we were in a church! It's got praying eggplant. We were in a church. That's blasphemy, bro. That's blasphemy. You can't do that. Dude, you don't need an emoji, Isaac. It's fine. You don't seem like an emoji texter. Let's go to the dungeon. I'll let you know when I th when I think of a date we can go on. Let's go meet in the dunge in the mean... God, it sounds so dirty. Like, hey, what are you doing? Let's go meet in the dunge. It sounds so dirty. I love it. <laughs> Jess says you went out on a date. Wait, she updated on social media? Oh. Oh, wait, no. That's mom texting me. Jesse. That's what it says. They better have treated you well. You only deserve the best. Mom, stop. Stop, mom. Stop. Okay, let's leave. Let's go to the dunge, man. Oh, that's right. Paradise Lost. I have to go meet whoever that was. Paradise Lost. Sorry, the cat cafe. Boyfriend Dungeon. Welcome to Paradise Lost. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Like? What kind of cast do you like? Uh, all of them. not a real answer, you know. But it's true that every cat deserves love. Who the fuck love. are you? Not a real... I... I... What, what, I'm only allowed to like one kind of cat? Get out of my mm. face, Olivia. You want to order coffee? Don't you work at Kicks? <laughs> I thought Jesse would tell you he set us up. Oh, uh, I forgot to take off my work apron. Sorry, one second. Just casually forgot. Takes off the apron with a smile. I mean, I guess this is kind of a date, but it doesn't have to be. We can just hang out and pet cats. I don't really like dates mm. anyway. Who wants to play some game of trying to guess the right thing to say? Dude, that's literally what this is. <laughs> and then you flirt and you're supposed to start kissing? It's all so fake. Um, what about dating swords? I try to be sincere. Do you or are you just playing a dating game? I'll never know. Wow, she fucking called out, bro. <sighs> We're sweating on this one. Olivia frowns slightly, eyes focusing in the distance. Wait, don't look behind you, but I think someone's watching us in the window. 
I peek, but I don't see. That's creepy as shit. Elegant cat walks up, stares at you curiously. Olivia reaches her hand tentatively, but the cat stalks away again, tail in the air. I guess I offended her. You spend some time with Olivia chatting and petting cats. This was nice. See you around. Um... Can I walk you home? Sorry, I don't think so. Thanks, but no thanks. All right, well, I should have. I should have. Uh, you're a little too intense for me, to be honest. That's fair. I mean, okay, no problem. I guess I'm intense. The kitty gives you a pitying look. This is your fault. <laughs> Boyfriend dungeon. I didn't have the poise for that one, guys. I did not have the poise for that one. Alright, I'm going to the dunge. Why did mom send me a bunch of knives? Oh, because she's going to hurt whoever crosses me. So how'd it go with Olivia? I'm going with, I'm going out with Dagger Girl, dude. She was feisty. Ooh, we can start on floor three? Hell yeah. I don't care for Jesse. I don't care for Jesse so much either. It's nice that it's not so crowded. I like I like the way it confused that dude. Nice. Ah, fucking out of my way. Jesus. I love all my children equally. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Sugar. I'm getting closer to being able to make some vodka as a gift. This game is hilarious. So far, I'm having a really good time. Um, I big recommend this if anyone. It looks almost normal for once. Yo, we found a date segment. Hmm, ice cream. Want some? It'll be my treat. Apricot gelato, choco fudge. I'll go apricot gelato. Yeah. Tastes like summer. Or at least the idea of summer. Summer here in Verona Beach is a bit too much. If we were outside, this would probably melt before we could uh -huh. even eat it. Where would your ideal summer vacation be? You finish your ice cream displaying, debating the best place to spend summer. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you got nothing to give. I guess we gotta get back to work. I can feel a sugar rush coming on. Yo, anywhere in the summer? Fucking... Cottage in Ontario. Love, I love cottage trips, man. I love going on a cottage trip. Chat, if, I, if, I, if you were a sword in this game and we were playing... And, I had to choose the right option for you. Ooh, I got enough money to buy that uh, shirt this time. Where where would I where would I need to say? Cottage life is so good, especially in the summer because it's not cold. I love the heat. So Canada in the summer is like yes. I want to buy the purple bomber jacket. How do I put it on? In the apartment, it said. Bummer. Um, okay, let's keep going. Keep going down this way. This is like hot topic, but for weapons, pretty much. Next level. We've maxed out our relationship meter there. I love my Ontario cottage. It's only a... Yeah, the only problem is you got to drive for like six hours. I know. Nice. Double sugar? Hell yeah, baby. What about winter? What's your guys' winter vacation spot? I love going to, like, Southern California and Florida in the winter. I just I really like hot weather. I really like hot weather.
All right, we're good. We're good. Yeah, you know what? Your old your old home is probably your new vacation spot now, Money Matt. You just swapped them. <laughs> Give me the chest. Vegas, but I also live in Arizona. Dude, that's awesome. That's got to be so close for you to drive to then. That's one of the things I'm jealous about with my California, like some of my California friends is that they can just be in Vegas in like six hours. Oh, it's a nice pond. I never. Oh, it's an ice skating rink. I never um, got the hand of it. It's fun. Don't get me wrong. I just fall down a lot. I hope you're ready. You're hang on huh? to me. Are you sure? I'd hate to bring you down with me, but here it goes. She clings to your elbow, carefully putting one skate in front of the other. Faster. <laughs> oh, wait, how do I stop? She slips and stumbles, but you help her regain her balance. Uh, Valeria beams, excitement flushing her cheeks. Eventually, you take off Thanks. the skates. Thanks, that was fun. Solid date, solid date. Let's go. Doing good. Raspberry liqueur. I love that alcohols are a recipe. I got a little careless there. Ooh, I found liquid. Great. Oh wait, that's actually important. Unsarcastically, that's actually dope. All right, man, I love, I love liquid. Me too. Dude, I can change weapons in the middle of the dungeon? Isaac, let's level you up a little bit then. Gate's closed. Maybe you can find a key. Do I want to leave? Cancel. No, I don't want to leave. Oh, shit. It's big phones. Oh, shit, they're crab phones. My greatest fear. Phones that are also crabs. Oh, what the? Music's slapping right now. Oh, I missed that terribly. Dude. You got the key and some fabric. And let's heal up. Let's heal up even more. Beauty. Beauty. We did it, Isaac. You and I. Greatest team alive. This is like one of the greatest mergers of game genres that has ever existed. This concept is so, so bonkers. I love it. Ooh, leather jacket recipe. Dude, I want a leather jacket. Hell yeah. It is fun, yeah. You should pick this up. And before you go visit your homies in Seattle and you guys can play this together, it'd be hilarious. It's so fun. It'd be so fun to play in like a little room of friends. I often think of cats when I'm, we've done this before. I love all animals. Ugh, immersion ruined.
What if the room of friends devolves into shipping wars? That's the hope, man. That'd be hilarious. Sounds like a fun night to me. Wow, this is a terrifying room. Oh, what? Mini crab monster? Dang, I guess they really ramped up the difficulty ever since I got past that door. I like how it ran from me. I'm definitely gonna try and play this with like Steve and Selena sometime. I feel like they'd get a get an absolute laugh out of this. I think Selena would actually love it, dude. She'd laugh so hard. Can you play a multiplayer? I don't know. I doubt it, but I'm not sure. Oh, dude, a pair of vaults? Hell yeah. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break because I gotta pee, but we'll continue delving the boyfriend dungeons shortly. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Hawk Potato? Be back in a minute.
You return. Sorry, Sunder. You know what is weird, Mickey? What? That ah! I can express myself better with your 40 ish emotes than the basic 5,000 we get on our phones? <laughs> That's a fantastic compliment. Thank you. I, I, I love our emotes so much. I really want to get a moist notes. I feel like we need a notes emote. Ever since the uprising of notes emote, emotes, I have felt wrong not having one. Like, Spanch says something that you just can't put into words, too. You know? Oh my god. This ambush is devastating. <laughs> you were close, Manic T. It was a thought that counts. Spanch is easily your favorite. The fuck is Spanch? Use the emote, Kevin. Moist Spanch. It's, inspi it's inspired by the... Um, ooh, you worked up a sweat. Perhaps an ice cream will cool you down. Um, apricot gelato. Yeah, dude. Who would choose vanilla over apricot gelato, honestly? Like, as if it's even a question. I'm new, I'm still learning. No worries, man. Spanch is a way of life. You'll you'll come to appreciate it. Ugh. Okay, I want to try and kill the TVs, because they're... Um, I want to try and kill everything, I think. I think um, if I can, I want to try and kill everything. I gotta get rid of those little guys. I think I should have focused on that earlier. <laughs> oh my god. I choose vanilla. I'm a normie. Vanilla is a fair pick, especially if it's soft serve. We talking soft vanilla soft serve over anything else? I'm probably team vanilla soft serve. Whoa, Kevin Raid. What's up, Kevin? Kevin, do me an honor. Do me an honor and shout yourself out, please. It would make me very happy. If you would do me the honor. Chat, you got to give Kevin a little bit of love on the Twitch. You got to give Kevin a follow. How was the stream, Kev? What are we getting up to? Hey, I got your mail, by the way. I don't know. I didn't know if you wanted it on stream or not, but that was it was a super sweet card. Thank you. I went to the post office and finally picked up my shit. Boyfriend dungeon. Oh, you guys are doing co-op of Operation Tango? Oh, nice. 
Oh, very nice. What's that game about? It's like a cool multiplayer puzzle style game, right? Speaking of puzzle style games, guys, I did upload a video, a video of, a, of our super liminal playthrough to the YouTube channel today. So if you guys um, haven't seen super liminal, it's actually a really trippy puzzle game. Super fun to watch. Highly recommend specifically my video for it, but in general. <laughs> Do you have a YouTube? Funny that you ask, random versus the world. I do have a YouTube channel. Who doesn't? But mine has fantastic content put together by a talented, talented team. Def's a co-op puzzle solving, like keep talking, nobody explodes. Each player has one side of the game to see. That sounds awesome. That sounds really cool. I might have to check out that VOD a little bit and see what it's like. <sighs> if you haven't seen Super Lemon, I recommend... <laughs> I recommend you watch X Waters Heart Gold Soul Seal Silver Iron Mom playthroughs. Those st I still we still need to get those up actually. We haven't done the Heart Gold Soul Silver ones on YouTube. Not yet at least. Uh. <gasps> no! I thought I was dodging it. Fuck. Fuck. Level six. Level seven. Level eight. Level nine. Okay, nice. Ambulancing home. I should also play Pico Park. I think I've seen that. I think it's kind of like that. Jesse said you're fighting your inner demons in the dungeon. Why the fuck is he telling you everything why is he telling you everything so it's kind of like therapy but with swords yeah i guess a company i invested in is hosting a thank you party it's a bit embarrassing but since it's hosted for slicer the dating app for weapons am i invited huh i had an idea you like museums ah <sighs> Honestly, not really. Me neither, but I promise to make it fun. Meet me at the museum? <laughs> Damn. Okay, Valeria is winning me over pretty hard, guys. It might be because it's the only woman and I'm a heterosexual male, but she's doing a pretty good job. Meet at the museum, wear something red. Sure. Just kidding, wear whatever you want. Dude, she's funny. Of course, I hope you can attend. It is at the Verona Boyfriend Dungeon. What the? <laughs> I wasn't even ready for that. Okay. Um, Something serious. You dress with precision, every garment in perfect alignment. Then you wonder, what if you're overdressed? What if you look ridiculous? You change clothes a few times until it's too late. There's no time. Finally, you put the first outfit back on and run out the door. The lobby looks packed with an unusual crowd of young software types. Ah, yes, those types. The entry is blocked. Private entry tonight, you on the list? He's with Brooks Associates. Slick Mick knows everyone, huh? <laughs> did, did, did I get love points on the bouncer too? Kisses your cheek and leads you into the party. I love your jacket. I must get your tailor's number. Thank you for coming. Your support means so much to me. Is this for you? Me and the other investors and employees, I hope my father makes it. I told him the gala was for his favorite charity. Where is he? Familiar face of... Oh, not this guy. Not this guy. This piece of sh This little... This little... Come Almost on. a year. 
Papa Bear, thank you for the 31, man. You're close. Hmm. I see Slicer's invited true VIP, Slick Mick. Is this weapon your date? None of your business. Ah, uh, but this is exactly my business. Have you seen his blade? So fine and straight. I'm standing right here. You sure are. Good job, you. Everyone likes a sharp dressed man. I'm dressed sharp. Ah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I see a platter of shrimp. How does that ass know you anyway? He owns a weapon shop. He was my oh. first date. So there's more to the story. I'll give you the deets. The whiskeys all have multiple malts. Good evening, father. Can we have a calm, civil conversation? This is most certainly not the foundation for dogs attending Harvard. <laughs> you told me Dr. Muffin the third would be here? What? Uh. Well, some of those people have dogs, I'm sure. These people's dogs haven't even graduated high school. <laughs> what if I'm seen? The fuck is this conversation? Well... A slicer executive takes the stage and starts talking about the prophet in sword smooching. Vincent marches out the door. The slicer executive starts listing all the hardships they overcame and thanking their investors. Eventually, she names Isaac and Brooks Associates by name and a special thank you for his generosity. Applause breaks out as the speech ends and someone turns the music back up and the dance floor starts to fill. Well, I don't think everything she said was true. My help wasn't necessary. If everyone were paid a living wage, we wouldn't need investors. We could also reduce inheritance, but where'd my father go? He left. Of course he did. Let's get some fresh air. Isaac leads you outside. Vincent and Isaac's assistant are talking. And that's when Isaac pooped his pants. And that's when he pooped his pants. That just reminds me of the Childish Gambino skit from like forever ago. He's like, I promise to never do anything to ruin our friendship. Like poop my pants. Wow, that's hilarious. Of course it is. Ah, my worthless son. Wow, this guy, they're really overplaying it a little. Like, they threw subtlety out the window with this dad. I wanted to show you that money helps people, real people. Instead of obsessing over how much money others have, why not take care of yourself? You don't even have a partner unless... Don't tell me you're dating this disaster. Vincent gestures in your general direction without looking at you. Leave Slick Mick out of this. What matters to me is that I make a difference. <laughs> Funding these boors isn't making a difference. All you're making is a fool of yourself. Vincent gets in a town car and slams the door. Driver drive, driver pulls away. Isaac sighs, staring after him. Well, now I can enjoy the party without distraction, I guess. Are you okay? Yes. I'm all right. I knew this was likely going to happen. All I wanted is a good job, but nothing is ever simple with him. Come on, let's forget him. I'll introduce you to a few people. Your friendship is my most valuable investment yet. Hey! Uh, he offers you his elbow with a small bow. Level three. Ale. Hold any heavy attack to charge up into a more powerful move. Cool, cool. And perhaps a small gift for the gentleman? Ooh, he gave me a blue flower. I bought you that little thing. I don't know if it's your style, but I'd like you to have it. I love it. Wonderful. Now let's see what kind of music the DJ started to play. Hmm? Boyfriend dungeon. I oh, dude, I just got the I just got the I had a great time text. Dude, you know you know you had a good date when you get the I had a good time text. Is this a speed run? No. What did something give you the impression as I can make a pepperoni pizza out of sugar and wire? <laughs> Oh, where's the vodka? I want to make the vodka first. Ooh, leather jacket. Raspberry liqueur. I'm making all the alcohols. Okay, I'm going to make a pepperoni pizza. I'm going to make a red rose. And I'll leave the rest out. Filled up on gifts. Okay. 
At least you don't take any permanent damage. Therapy is important, especially when you're feeling on edge because of the swords. I never told you this, but I went to therapy for 12 years. It helped me grow and level up as a person. 12 years. Are you okay? I'll try to do the same. I just like to fight. I'll try to do the same. That's my boy. Thanks for inviting me. All right. Sorry, Isaac. I'm going to leave you on red for a little bit. I got to go uh, hang out with Valeria. Where's the museum? There it is. Wait, there's a gym? Oh, shit. Hold on. We got to go to the... Oh. Oh, this is to train with particular people. Interesting. Boyfriend dungeon. I'm putting that on a button, dude. Boyfriend dungeon. Boyfriend dungeon. Perfect. I can just press a button to make it happen now. You find Valeria in the shop, and she leads you into the museum. In the first gallery, Valeria glares daggers at, at one of the sculptors. Yo, appreciate the resub, real MVP. I look like a discount Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Love the mustache. You look like a discount Freddie Mercury. Couldn't have just said look like Freddie Mercury. You gotta throw discount in there. You gotta throw discount in there. I appreciate the resub, man. Thank you. Um, it's too perfect. Perfection is so boring. I don't trust it. You saying I'm not perfect? Way to make it about yourself. Beauty is boring? Mm -hmm. Exactly right. Perfect symmetry? Leave it to mathematicians, I say. Valeria guides you through the museum without a map, according to her whim. Would you like to offer a gift? Guys, what do you think she would like, though? Does she strike you as a rose person? A pepperoni pizza kind of girl? Or vodka? It's gonna be vodka. No, she doesn't want any vodka. <laughs> she said the museum was gonna be fun, man. She said it. She talks about the art with intimate fondness, like their eccentric family members. Oh. Just wondering, if you could steal a painting from any museum, which one would it be? Are you a cop? So suspicious. I admire your caution, but no, it's an idle question. If you've never really thought about it before. I'd steal The Birth of Venus by Bogoro. It's in the Musée d'Orsay. Wow, sorry to anyone who speaks French having to listen to me right now. Huh. The real issue is the size. It's 3 by 2.818 meters, and it would be a crime to roll it up. You've thought this huh? through. Well, it wouldn't do to get caught, would it? Probably not. I'd miss out on the chance to enjoy my painting if I was in prison. Now it's your turn. What would you liberate? Um, I'm going to go with Klimt's The Kiss because it's closest to Kermit the Frog. A passionate and bold piece. Rather like you, I think. I hate museums as much as I love them. The idea of them anyway. Art should be free, man. Like out in the world. Not hidden away like this. <sighs> But Verona Beach isn't so bad. The museum is free and open to the public. Have you heard about the new mural at the mall? Maybe we can go look at it sometime. I'd love to know what you think. People are saying it's the Roses of Venus, you know, the anonymous graffiti artists. Maybe they thought Verona Beach needed a little more beauty and love. Oh shit, this guy again? I don't, I'm getting, I'm getting some off vibes about this. Um... She whispers to him they look intimate, like they've known each other forever. Ugh. You want to get out of here? Uh, why was uh, he here? Uh. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to be somewhere else with you. Okay, roll further or confuse longer? I want to roll further. So what do you say? Uh, I don't like that she's not telling me about it, but maybe she'll open up later. We'll, uh... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Oh, shit. After she snuggles into you, her hilt perfect <laughs> in your palm. <laughs> now we bust out the vodka. And in the morning, she... Boyfriend dungeon. 
You up? It's the morning. We... Morning. Oh, I guess that is a valid morning question now that I think about it. Let's knife. Cool. Now I'm warmed up for facing your fears in the dungeon. Uh, what have you been saying? Okay. Um, if you want to charge up weapons, check out the gym and the most horrendous holiday ever is around. I have no idea what's at Arbor Day. Is it Arbor Day? Fourth of July. Nothing more romantic than a barbecue and fireworks. What? More than trees? You think I'm joking, but wait and see. I met my partner Samantha at a barbecue. You'll be all... Uh. I'll send you details soon. Ooh, I'm home with mom saying. I was so worried when you went off to VV on your own, but you're doing great. Facing for years, finding friends. I'm amazed. It makes me proud. My little baby bird flying on his own. You don't miss me. Are you serious right now? Oh, mom, sweet. Hmm, wait. I gotta put on that jacket I bought. Yeah. I didn't realize it was like crop top and a thing. I've already committed to buying it, so I'm going to wear it, but beverages. Oh shit, it makes beverages heal more? Hell yeah. Dude, I look I look f good, dude. 12% better at this game cuz he currently has a mustache, the more you know. Hell yeah, man. important part but this is important and independence is part of growing up be here when you need me you'll always be my son thanks mom okay i gotta go dunge with a hot dagger gotta hit the dunge there's stuff going on here but i gotta dunge what floor oh we can go to five or seven let's let's go to seven i feel confident we got good chemistry, me and the dagger. Or maybe we don't. I don't really know. She's got a really, uh, a really interesting character following around, following her around. Not the hottest vibe, this I'll be honest. This didn't always have monsters in it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna die already. That was terrible. I got locked in there, bro. Wow, she is strong, though, now. Look at all that damage we're doing. Um, I have three... I have two T's. I just healed. Yeah, I can fight a challenge. Another one? Dude, the confusion on rollaway is so powerful. I'll go back there later, but we found an ice cream spot. Uh, let's go mm -hmm. vanilla. Classic. Makes me want to put some kind of sauce on it. Yeah, get me some, mm. get me some honey mussy for my vanilla ice cream.
Ah, shoot. Nice. Easy peasy. There's so much wire on the ground. I love it. Wait, so it's part dating mall life, but you're also attacking cell phones. The mall manifests your fears, and all the things we're seeing are supposed to manifest change, I think, is the explanation we've been, been given thus far. I feel like maybe we'll find out like later in the game that it's it means something else. Because it is all suspiciously very media related. Ooh, cap recipe. Ooh, we like it. The zine is good when it hits, but man, is it hard to hit. I am going to just buy a bubble tea this time. They're shooting special balls now. Those are different than before. Challenge complete. Anime t shirt? Let's go, dude. So good, my anime t shirt. Bam, ba, bam, ba, bam, bam. Deepa. Ooh. Funny how vanilla is considered plain, given that vanilla flavor itself comes from seeds of a tree which require hand pollination of each individual flower within 12 hours of said flower opening and used to be considered such a luxury. Yeah, it's ice cream. It's ice cream's fault. Gourmet cupcake. Night helmet. Strong love of vanilla in the chat, and I love it. I love how passionate you guys are about vanilla. <laughs>
Easy peasy. Ooh, massage chairs. Ooh. We have time for a little self-indulgence, right? You sit in the massage chairs that begin to vibrate. Ugh. Need your back. Too soon. It's over. You feel more relaxed and satisfied. Gift? She doesn't want the vodka. Pepperoni pizza? Yeah, she likes pizza. All right. Huh. You think monsters use massage chairs to relax when they're not fighting? Definitely. <laughs> mm hmm All those weird vertebrae need special massage expertise, I'm sure. Until we chop them up. Let's go. Sleepy time z Oh, a new zine. Nice. Chemistry zine. Also nice. Beauty. Really? Why is the dungeon in an office building? It's a mall, actually. Um, the why is doesn't come any more clear knowing that, but it's, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the mall deeps. There's something behind there. I gotta go fight a boss. It's the same boss? That's kind of lame. Take one of these. Feels good. I got the key and a lot of whatever that was. What's this? Boyfriend dungeon. You found a strange gadget. It fits into your hand smoothly, but you're not sure how to I use it. I wonder who it is. They seem dormant somehow. Oh my god, are there laser swords? <gasps> oh shit. Straight out of a K-pop band like that. That was amazing. I feel slow. Like I took a really long nap. Maybe I have a screw loose. Literally. Who are you both? What day is it? You tell him what I've you know. I've been down here two weeks. Well, thanks for waking me up. I'm seven. I should probably let my agent know where I've been. <laughs> I think he probably is. You want to fight monsters first? Nah, you look like you have enough help for me. Hmm. Oh, shit. But I know I owe you one. How about a cup? Sure. Mm -hmm. Or a whiskey, but okay. Seven leaves you. Uh, leaves and you return to your exploring. Boyfriend dungeon. You're right. I wasn't thinking, Kevin. I was not thinking hard enough there. Real inconsiderate of me. Huh. Feels nice to stretch out after a long session of stabbing monsters. When I'm in dagger, when I'm a dagger, I'm more focused, but more tense. Does it hurt? Uh -uh. No, it's good exercise. I just need to stretch after. She nudges you playfully and sits on the fountain's edge. 
Would you like to offer a gift? She didn't like vodka. I'll try the red rose. Woo, she liked the red rose. You sit together in companionable Thanks. silence. If she didn't like the vodka, she probably won't like the other alcohol. Just a guess. Time to find out you can dual wield. Some people are into it, man. Some people are into that. You don't really like vodka, but you like other alcohol. So what you're saying is you uh, have a second life as a dagger. That's what I'm hearing. She did mention whiskey. You're right. She did mention whiskey. I guess she's just not a vodka drinker. You guys, you guys pay better attention to shit than I do. You guys should be the one making the decisions here, not me. Enemies are strong down here. Ooh. I'm a bike helmet. Uh, there's still more to explore. Let's, let's not let's not party down just yet. Let's keep going. I sworn I heard my cat, but upon further reflection, I think my stomach growled. Fabric! Is it time for pizza? Pizza time! Boom, 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 boom. Oh, shit. Drinkity time, Friday, and done with work. Ooh. I might join you guys. I'm hanging out with some friends later. I might join you guys. I'm out of healing. Uh, shit. Okay. God, I need health. Ooh, I think going ice skating together will make me feel better. Um, huh? <laughs> All right, chat, it's prediction time. Will she like the raspberry liqueur? Yes, no. 30 second prediction. Yes, no. Will she like the raspberry liqueur? You gotta be quick. Thanks. You gotta be quick. Never mind. It's not a gift moment. I'm canceling it. Deleting it. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just I just debated you all.
I was able to pick up some health, which is really nice. You can tell I'm supposed to be higher level for this part. I'm taking much more damage now. I'm taking a lot longer to kill things. I gotta go on some dates, dude. Money, 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 money. I'm sitting on $75 redos right now, too. Dang, I can almost afford concert tickets. She's maxed out. I'm going to take Isaac out now since she's maxed. See, she's just a better weapon, though. Like, I'm going to die faster with him. I think. I like how they're running away for whatever reason. I don't get it. They're just like, kill me. Go for it. Oh, that's right. I forgot I can charge up his stabs now. Charge stab doesn't do enough. Oh, God. Finish him! Finish him! Finish the crab phone! Did we establish that you're scared of outdated technology? The, it's the, the, Isaac threw the theory down that he thinks I'm afraid of change. That's that's what it's been framed as in Isaac's perspective. But who is he? You know, he's not the god of dungeon monster identification. He could be wrong. The weird, like, everything is media related. Everything, you know, mil m music, TV, phones, everything is related in some way to communication. I feel like that's, that's got to be part of it. I think communication is a much stronger theme here than, uh, than change, personally. I can hold to parry? Oh. It was just a starter weapon. Exactly. He don't know shit. Starter weapon looking ass. Mm. You know, this time I'm going to say cats are right. the best. Wow, that counter does a lot.
Wow, that does a lot. I have been misusing the shit out of this sword. Isaac is a lot better than I thought he was. Oh, gotta get the kids from school. All right, Pook, we'll see ya. Have a nice afternoon. Get some fire damage going on here. He's so misunderstood. Yo, sick counter crab. Counter the crab, dude. I didn't even notice there was a second one over here. Harry's so good. I want to kill the TVs before I fight the crab. that dang already rated R they grow up so fast oh did I not open yeah to the up here to the north left oh fabric I never picked up oh I need that Let's just keep going. Let's see where we're at. This is going terribly so far. Zap zap zoop. Zap zap zoop. Zip zap zoop. Zip zap zoop. Zip zap zoop. Zip zoop zoop. Zip zap zoop. Zip zip zoop. What's up, Raffy? Alright. Did I beat this room up? I beat this room up. Alright, I gotta get to the end of this dungeon soon. I gotta go on some more spicy dates. I think your fear of change is lessening as we go deeper. You don't know shit. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna have Choco <laughs> fudge this time. Perhaps we can go to Italy together someday. Oh, Isaac.
what is this? Is that my fear of weird caterpillars? Is it going to turn into a butterfly that I have to kill? Oh, shit. Oh, it's been poisoned. That is not the butterfly I was anticipating. Yo, parry button, very useful right now. Ah, fuck you, dude. I think this time I'm going to do this. Dude, how am I supposed to win against this boss? It's so much health. Got some good damage on there. I'm gonna start off. Good, I got some real good damage in there. All right, all you guys come together. The heavy attack with the with this weapon isn't that good. I don't think I'm going to get this. And they're dropping more now, too. You gotta be kidding me. All right, we're dead. Overcome your fears? Dude, I'm not scared. There are just fucking a lot of spiders out there. <laughs> Level 10. Level 11. Level 12. Level 13. Level 14. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I'm going home. What's up, Dakla? I'm doing solid. Are you leave As you leave the dunge, don't mean to overthink things, but something's not right. Why would that sword have slept for weeks? Um, Maybe he was under... Maybe he's depressed. Maybe. Either way, let's keep an eye out. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything. And I head home. Okay, anime t-shirt. Yeah, I'm making that. <laughs> um, I'm just going to make a, as much things as I can in the gift category. Oh, I can't make a night helmet recipe. Make these zines. I need glue for fashion zines. Might as well make the hat too. A little bike helmet. Um. Oh, sick! I look dope. 
I can carry more beverages, but fewer zines. I promised mom I'd be safe. I'm about to start walking around in a helmet, dude. Very stylish. Got to get my ducks in a row. See you tomorrow. See you later, Kevin. Have a nice rest of your day. Oh, what's Valeria saying? Thanks again. Doctor says any damage I took will heal itself whom? soon. Uh, what are you up to? Mind meeting me? I'll explain some things, please. Sure. How about a fencing lesson here? Oh, my office is quiet lately. Unguard! Um, okay. Almost got you another date, but I need some info. Be honest, would you rather get to know a guy who's buff or sweet? Buff. Swords only. Okay, well, this dude was a trick QBC. A trick question. Oh, fuck. These kids, man. How do you know him? We used to date a while back. Way before Samantha. He was really fun. He'd be a good friend, I think, no matter what happens. I don't know if I want to date your ex. It'll just be a friendly meeting at first. No pressure. Talk to you soon. She's at the park, I think. I think she's at the park. I'm not talking to that guy. What are you up to? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Want lunch? I should probably eat. I'll be at Kicks. Whew. I got a lot of dates to catch up with now, guys. Boyfriend Dungeon. <laughs> Valeria is sitting on a park bench, glaring at the nearby ducks. Her expression softens as she hey. sees you. I'm really glad you came. I wasn't sure if you would after how things ended. I asked you to go home with me for all the wrong reasons. But I don't regret our time together. Not one um... bit. I wish I had been... I don't know. You seemed angry. I was. Not at you. I can explain, but... The sound of loud quacking interrupts uh. her. Shut up, ducks. Can you believe that noise? I hope you're not one of those people that feeds ducks at the park. I'm not. Good. I hate their beady little eyes. And don't get me started on the snap. But no, I just don't want to disturb, like, nature. They're fine. I don't have a problem with ducks. A friend of mine lost a finger to a duck. Got too close with a piece of bread. And then... She <laughs> snaps her finger. Gone just like that. Is that true? Her lips twist into a rueful grimace. Ah, yes. The rueful grimace. It's a favorite of mine. And she sighs. All right. Maybe I exaggerated, but only a little. And promise not to laugh. It didn't happen to a friend, it was me. She holds up a hand, showing you a faint scar on her index finger. Could I, could I, could I kiss it better? She extends her hand, you look her in the eyes and kiss the tip of her finger. She shivers and you slide your lips down to her palm and her wrist. And then you remember you're in a fucking park. <laughs> she pulls her hand back and smiles shakily. <laughs> You're good at that. The sound of loud quacking interrupts your moment. I can't believe you did that in front of the ducks. Whatever will they think? Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah! Guys, what do you think she's gonna like? Okay, we, we gotta do the prediction. We gotta do the prediction. Will <laughs> she like the raspberry... The raspberry liqueur. Yes, no. Place your bets, gamers. Channel points live right now for the most important bet we're going to have today. Will she like the raspberry liqueur? She didn't like vodka. Take that into consideration when you're placing your bets. She did not like the vodka. It does look like a bottle of ketchup. I feel like the doubters have the big chance here. I feel like doubters definitely have the advantage here. All right. Oh, she likes it. Oh, sorry, doubters. Sorry, doubters. This one goes to the believers. I'm literally basing this on my feelings. What did you? Oh, you doubted. Get wrecked. <laughs> 
Next time we'll go on a date without the risk of duck. Attacks do critical damage. Oh, to confuse the enemies? That's sick. Hmm. We were talking about something actually important before. I remember I was going to awkwardly explain Jake. I'm listening. <laughs> huh? So that guy who keeps showing up, his name is Jake. I dated him for a couple um... years and I dated his sister as well at the same time. I mean, they both knew. Dual wielding? <laughs> Suppose it was. Trust me, it was even more work than it sounds. We messed up a lot at first, but we learned, got better at being together. I was young and in love and thought we'd be together forever. Jake and Jessica and me, three artists against the world. For them, for that, that's, a, yeah, we'll leave it, we'll leave it. They're related is what I'm trying to say here. And we were everything to each other. We had the same goals, believed in the same things. And then greed and pride and ambition got in the way. As they usually do. Jessica wanted more, more recognition, more adventure, more everything. I wanted things to stay as they were, which was foolish. Nothing stays the same. I moved to Verona Beach looking for a fresh start, and Jake followed me. I know you haven't had the best impression of him, but he's a good person, really. You argue a lot. I was in a three-way relationship with him and his sister. We broke up a cr We broke up a few months ago. Are you surprised are you surprised we argue? It's a complicated situation. I'll give you that. <laughs> Look, I know Jake's been a bit of an idiot following us around. I'll talk to him about it. Get him off. Uh, get him to back off. For real this time. Anyway, enough about my drama. I got you a little gift. Ooh, a beret. Ooh. Saw it in the museum gift shop and thought of you. Can't wait to try it on. <laughs> ciao. Okay, ciao. Boyfriend dungeon. I gotta put my beret on. Enemies get stunned when they damage you. Fancy French accent not included. I hope she paints you. Yes. Paint me like one of your French daggers. <laughs> okay, I gotta go meet the sword. Boyfriend dungeon. You see Seven sitting alone poking at his phone. Oh, it's you. Hey. hey. He puts away his phone and looks at you expectantly. So, there's an awkward silence. Uh, What's your favorite Blade Generation album? Never heard of them. Seven smiles as if it's a oh. joke. Wait, you're serious? Oh. Blade Generation is my band from Korea. Double platinum. No big deal. You don't listen to a lot of music, I guess. Too busy. You watch net TV. I like to chill out. Mm. Mm. It takes hard work to achieve anything, though, doesn't it? Oh, well, since you don't know Blade Generation, I guess you don't need an autograph. Would you like to offer a gift? You guys think he'll like the vodka? Yeah! Somebody likes the vodka. Let's go. <laughs> Let's dungeon sometime? Yeah. I'm pretty busy. I have to prep for our comeback uh. in the fall. I don't know if I can risk going back into the dungeon. My agent would sue if I got any scars. Takes a sip from his coffee and makes a face. Not good enough for you? That's not it. I mean, I've had better, uh, but they used the wrong milk. Ask him to fix nah, it. Uh, nah, talk to a stranger? More than I have to? No way. What? Wait, why is she coming over here? Shit, cover for me. The cashier approaches your table nervously. Mm. Sorry to bother you, but you're Seven from Blade Generation, aren't you? I'm Olivia. He looks at you and shakes his head slightly. There's a slight panic in his eyes. You're mistaken. Uh -huh. No way. I know that bias... That bias records face anywhere. Wait, that oh, means. My. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god. Play Generation is in Verona. Huh? Maybe even Sung Woo is here too? His face closes, becoming carefully blank. <laughs> she rushes away, typing on her phone excitedly. You okay? Yeah. Whatever. Later. I guess there's still the dungeon if you want to. The monsters won't bring the paparazzi. Chain lightning? When finishing a combo, an energy bolt damages a nearby uh, enemy from the first enemy hit. Sick. Boyfriend dungeon. Boyfriend dungeon. Oh my god. Before you come over, I gotta get. I gotta clean. I mean, it won't be clean, clean. I'm not a nun. But this muffin from 2016 needs to be evicted. We'll let you know when its smell is gone, too. In the meantime, I found some cool art by the mall. Did you see this? 
That's just a selfie. Oh, I love murals. Maybe we can check it out sometime together. Beach. Eh, I don't know. I'll think about it and get back to you. All right, seven. <clears throat> you see, you're a little, you're a little on guard. That's fair. Don't worry about it, bud. He doesn't mind if you're dating someone else. No big deal. You gonna invite anyone? What? Uh, what? I got a chance to dual wield? Yeah, I'm gonna maybe invite Dagger Lady. Oh, I gotta go to Brooks. That's right. Boyfriend Dungeon. Well, hello. You seem to be getting the hang of parrying, so today we'll try the repost. After a parry, a repost lets you thrust and return. He glances at the door and then back to you. Here, it's easier if I show you. Go ahead and attack me. Attack left. He deflects and suddenly his foil pokes into your shoulder. Since you held off, I needed to extend further to repost. See? A repost turns the attacker's energy back upon mm. them. Isaac glances at the clock. Here, I'll attack you. Parry, then step forward and attack immediately. Allez! He attacks slowly and you parry. Then thrust, right. making a touch. And that's the repost. He attacks. You practice it, a, it as a drill a few times. He's... Sweating more than usual. I guess that's enough for today. I'd like to talk to you about something. He takes off his gear and pours refreshments. My father has finished a hostile takeover of my firm. He's bought a majority and discredited me with the board. So, my time is just about over at Brooks Associates. I only have today and tomorrow. Try not to care what he thinks. He's a foolish Closed-minded old man. And I've officially disowned him. And cut off contact. But now I'm gonna lose everything I built here. Because of him. How can I not care? That's... I'm sorry your dad is garbage. Mm -mm. He's not. He's just... No, it sounds like he is. You're right. Even now I want to defend him. An insufferable selfish lout. But I'm really glad that I talked to you. And I'm sorry to burden you. No burden, buddy. No burden. Reduce charge time or wider finisher. Yeah, that one. I sold my stock. I'll be comfortable while I sort out what to do next. It'll be a bit like starting over. I've lost so much. I try to keep focusing on fencing, but it's not working. Maybe I should give up for the day. Or I can make a house call for a uniquely talented fencing student like yourself. Ooh, why not tonight? It's... Tempting to want to get closer to you any way I can, but your temptation might be too strong for me right now. I know I'm not in a great place emotionally right now, and I dream about you. I need to know we're committed to each other before we can be intimate. Otherwise, I'll just regret it afterwards, and I don't want to regret anything with you. I understand, but don't worry. I promise I'm not trying to rush you. I'm just being clear about my requirements. Take your time and think about it. He leans in and gives you a long, long kiss. I suppose this is good night for now. Thank you for your companionship. Boyfriend, boyfriend, dungeon, boy, 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 boyfriend, dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm inviting Valeria though. On, he literally just said, like, he doesn't like to, you know, he seems like a monogamous kind of guy. Valeria is probably into this kind of thing. On your way, you bring something to share. Cake. You worry it's not good enough. No, I don't. Cake seems like a safe bet. Everybody loves cake. You find Valeria waiting outside Jesse's hey, house. Hey, stranger. Miss me? You hear the sound of talking and music from the backyard. You go around hey, back to investigate. It's my coolest cousin. Oh, he's got a cool shirt now. Look at this guy with his Hawaiian shirt. Be friendly, okay? A few strangers look at you curiously and raise a glass. 
Your cheeks feel we warm. Cake. Perfect. We needed something sweet. I nailed and it. Who's this with you? Oh my. Oh, you indeed. Thank you for letting me crash your little party. You're very welcome. Want a little tour? I need to go in and prep burgers and shrooms. Yeah. Sure. I brought baklava too. Homemade. Oh man, can't wait. Thanks so much. In the meantime, slick make meet Jonah. Here, go talk. Whoa, this guy looks like he puts in a hard day's work. Wakes up early in the morning. He's up late at night. Always making sure the job gets done. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Jonah. Shoot, you knew that already. And you're Slick Mick. That's me. Yeah, yeah cool. cool. Well, uh, so that's us. You stand awkwardly, both trying to think of something to say. You're Jesse's ex? Jesse and me? <laughs> no way. Wait. Yeah, I guess we did. Huh. That was forever ago. And it was this guy better be a battle axe. I haven't thought about that in years. Things were so different back then. Jesse said you fight monsters, is that right? So you're some kind of hero? It pays well. Mm. Does it though? I thought those gigs, gigs paid in like coupons. I've been thinking about trying the dungeon out myself sometime, maybe. Just said you wield uh, weapons down there. I can sometimes be an axe. I don't do it often though. That's amazing. I just decided to change shape, like clenching a fist. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Anyway, I could definitely use the money from a gig, but you promise we won't hurt anyone? Like not even animals? Only monsters. And who just decides what's an animal or a monster, I wonder? I don't really have a choice. I wish I wasn't hurting so bad for money. Here's my number. Maybe we can go together sometime. Or if you want, we can hang out as like humans. I'm usually at the beach. Cool. And who's this cute friend of yours? Mm. Jonah, wait, we've met. I know you. You're the one that always bought duck at the grocery store, right? Ah, this dude's here. This grade A chode. Get out of here, Eric. Oh, oh Hello. slick Mick. Hello, may, may I, I kiss, kiss my hand? hand? Mm, go away. Now, my sweet, that is quite rude. Even if I know you're joking. Jonah glances between you and Eric. Uh... I don't think he's joking, dude. Well, it's a free country. That's what this holiday's about, right? Hmm. And I'll freely decide to leave this party now. Good day. Give my regards to Jesse and Samantha. I must flee. He hurries away. Hands over his ears? Eric really gets to you, huh? I'm fine. You realize you're lightly trembling with suppressed feelings. Where did your confidence go? Valeria gives you a little smile of sympathy. Her face was definitely looking like an anger face. That guy gives me the creeps. Eric, Jesse, and I went to school together. He doesn't have a bad heart. I think he's just lonely. That doesn't give him the right to be a jerk, but I wish he would grow up. It's a nice thought. Yeah. Well, it's probably just a thought. I don't know if he can be helped. The evening goes by surprisingly quickly with lively conversation. You eat burgers and grilled portobellos steadily, walk in the line between satisfaction and gluttony. As the sky explodes, you feel the wild romantic energy surge through you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Someone turns the music back on. Those are some explosions, all right. Now back to partying. I hope Jesse won't think I'm rude if I cut out now. I have to, uh, I have work I want to do tonight. And celebrating imperialist colonizers isn't really my jam. It was fun though. Nice meeting you, Jonah. Gives you a light peck on the cheek on our way out. See ya. Left to fend for yourself, a deep tiredness soon overtakes you. You say goodnight to Jesse and Jonah and shuffle home. Ooh. What kind of dreams, Isaac? You were healing broken weapons of all kinds. Me too. It was lovely. You're a comfort to me even when I'm asleep. Thank you. You're welcome, Isaac. Uh, out of town for the rest of the summer? Sad face. 
How was the barbecue? Romantic, right? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Maybe we can connect again somehow, someday. I wanted to have a battle axe. You ever come back to the town in the fall? Maybe I can show you some surfing spots on the island. What island? Verona Island. The ferry is under repairs right now, though. Oh, well. I hope your summer in VB is the best. Wish you were here. Should have made out with Jonah. My only chance, and now he's gone. Yeah. I consider my job here done. You've met some great folks, gone on some dates. I think I can back off and let you do your thing for the rest of summer. Is that okay? Yeah. I think we'll meet again somehow sooner than we think. Cool. Now we can just be normal friends and cousins. Phew. Love you, cuz. T-T-Y-L. Okay, I'm going to the dungeon. I've got the lightsaber available now. So I want to work with that lightsaber. Which floor do I want to go to? Let's start at 9. Yo, thanks for the prime, dude. Purple heart. Thanks. Peace sign. This is a pretty weird hobby. Wow. That's a cool sword. Let's try my new Xeno. It looks like it actually does elemental damage too. I'm seeing like blue numbers show up next to the regular numbers. He scuffs at the ice with his foot. I don't feel like skating right now. Hope that's okay. You can skate without me. Though. All right, yeah. cheer me on. Spend some time skating. Whenever you look to seven, he's watching you intently. Eventually, you step off the ice and he claps appreciatively. Guess we're done here then. Would you like to offer a gift? No, I'm okay for now. I would have considered it if you skated with me. He's going through some stuff, okay? Well, why is he in the dungeon with me then? Sorry, the dunge. Why did he even come to the dunge with me then? A bowler hat recipe. Fun. You're right, it's because he's the badass lightning sword. I feel like we're using each other right now. It's the message I'm taking home from this character. Gotta get the money. Okay, we've maxed out already. Valeria now. Meow. Hello, Polly.
he's texting me we were just dungeon bro hold on you know i'm still you know i'm still out right now will get 52. This is another episode of learning math with his water. Next chapter, differential of a function. Wouldn't be able to do it without my trusty sidekick alt 90s. Thanks for the resub, man. Appreciate it. All right, I'm going to take a quick BRB to feed my cat. She's bugging me. I think she I think she's desperate for a snack. All right, we back. Can I go in this door? Huh. Reminiscent of Steinlin, but more poppy and mainstream. Probably just a lazy knockoff. But it's possible the artist is knowingly commenting on the commercial placement. <coughs> I both are essential. Heh, you're just agreeing with me, coward. You and me, we're doomed if you're a liar, even just as friends. Guess we'll find out soon. Damn, dude. Sharp. She's sharp. I do, Daydream. I do. Have you ever considered that you might be too sexy? I've thought of it once or twice. Would I like to offer a gift? Yeah. You have flowers. Yeah! She's into the flowers. Go, 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 go. Still got to level her up a little bit more. 
Time for a little self-indulgence. Huh? You think the monsters use them? Yes. <laughs> we've, we've had this conversation before. I love the critical hit when you confuse them. So powerful. down here. Ooh, lots of money. Very nice. I'll keep going downstairs. I want to fight the caterpillar or the moth or whatever. I probably should switch to Isaac now that I've maxed out her her level. Ooh, I do like that wide poke that he learned now. I was 10 or so my father took my family up to canada for a winter so we'd know what real cold was like i mostly hated it but there was this big frozen lake all the kids skated on <laughs> thanks should i offer him a gift here you got like cupcakes you like cupcakes big guy you have a cupcake have a little cupcake Canada sucks, but it has frozen water, I guess. I know, as if, like, I'm not right here, buddy. You're going down this time, caterpillar thing. Wow. 
Yeah, this is going a lot better. That was a lot easier that time. Oh, he's so beautiful now. Let's go. Boss defeated. A new plushie can be found in your apartment. Fear of change conquered. <laughs> a spear? The chip pole arm is a little unwieldy in your hands. As you touch it, it transforms. It's the best part of the game, the transformation cutscenes. Little schoolboy. He's a little schoolboy. Or she's a little schoolboy? That's one of the that's one of the LGBT badges. I don't know which one. Hi, I'm Sawyer. Sorry I'm a little long. I don't think <laughs> Sorry I'm a little long! Actually, I didn't mean to be down here at all. My memory's fuzzy, and my head hurts like crazy. I feel like something's missing. Well, your blade was cracked. I guess I should go to the hospital, then call my mom. Or my blacksmith. Hmm. But all that has to wait because I'm late to history class. Oh, tardy! My professor's gonna dock me points for sure. But, um... Maybe I could buy you lunch to say thanks. Here's my number. Bye for now. My only concern is how boyfriend touch it. How old are they? Cause I'm under the impression that I'm like a 20 something so far. And they're like, I gotta get to history class. Dunge cleared. They said professor, so college. That's fair then. Oh, I didn't get Isaac to full. We'll do level 15. Yeah, I didn't get Isaac to full uh, full health there. Jesse tells me you have a very attractive friend. I don't want to pry. But is it uh, serious? I don't know yet. Nice meeting you. I recently came out as non-binary, but please use they, them. Anyhow, I don't know if you're free, but I could buy you breakfast or lunch at Kix. Sure. Perfect. See you there. Which one is it? Breakfast or lunch? Okay, okay. No pressure. I'll check with mom in a second. Just happy for you. Thanks, mom. I could go for oh a movie. Let's go. Cool. I like oh uh, I like action. I think action's the right pick here for me. Yeah. Okay. How about we see the dunge showing at six thirty most nights? I heard it's good. Let me know. All right. Let's go. Meet you inside. Don't bring the fan club. You're the. Remember, live by the sword, die by the sword. Mom. Muffin stench is gone. Mostly. Want to come see my work this evening? Yes. Right after my movie with Seven. Thanks, Mom. Can't wait. Nice. All right, what can I make right now? Bowler hat, sun hat. I'll make a bowler hat, why not? What kind of gifts can I make? Sword something, coupling something? Oh, dude, Isaac would love those. Isaac would totally love those. 
sun hat, make a sun hat. All right, cool. Da, 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 da. Hey, it's my 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 little bug is on the is on the wall. Little bug boss I killed. Oh God, we're back in the world, the art studio. Ooh, boyfriend dungeon. You turn onto the side street that house Valeria's that houses Valeria's art studio. But the smile on your face drops as you see Jake walk out, confront him. You stand in front of him, arms crossed, trying to project confidence and maybe the tiniest bit of menace. Huh. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to be in your way a long time. Try and, I'm trying to walk down the street and you won't let me? You're a dick. Look, can we skip the bullshit? You're just jealous. And that's your problem, not mine. No, you're stalking her. You followed her to a different city. He gives you a grin and then saunters away whistling. You watch him walk away and turn to look at Valeria's door. You should leave Jake alone and just go in. Yeah, you will. Anytime now. Nah, I'm not going to follow him. The studio smells of paint and some kind of woody spiced perfume. Hey. Oh, I thought you'd be here later. Did you see Jake? Yeah, I talked to him. He's being ridiculous right now. Thanks for being honest with me. Speaking of which, she twirls a strand of hair nervously and looks away. Speaking of messy, I have something to hmm. show you. I want to trust you with a new part of me, and I'm not sure I should. You really want to know who I am? I want you to be honest. It's a big step, but I want to take it with you. Yeah. I'm all in, Valeria. I'm all in. You walk through Verona Beach with Valeria, holding hands in your silence. Both of you are nervous with anticipation. It feels palpable between you. <coughs> you reach the mall, and she tugs you to the side. She searches your face as you take in the mural on the once plain wall. What do you think? It's beautiful. Thanks. It's my last secret. Mine and Jake's and Jessica's. We were, we are the roses of Venus. That's what we made together. We'd bring beauty and love to the streets around the world. You're one of maybe 30 people in the world who knows where we are. Aren't you? S it's a big secret. What? Being an internationally re renowned, renowned art provocateur? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I guess I just trust you. That's my secret. That's who I am. Chat, don't tell anybody. Our last job altogether was the Louvre. It got us a lot of attention. I think we're wanted by Interpol now. And Jessica wanted more of it. More dangerous it got, the better. Ugh. I just needed to get away from it all, you know? Lie low. No chance of running into Jessica on Main Street. That's the opposite of her scene. <laughs> she looks at you, the truth of her painted on the wall behind, impossibly bright. Love her rank up. Um, heavy finishers confuse enemies or heavy finishers have wider. Let's go with the confuse. <laughs> you stand together. People talk about the mural and take pictures as the sun goes down. Would you like to offer a gift? You want a teddy bear? She's mad. She doesn't like teddy bears. She's not a teddy bear type. That's totally fair. That's totally fair. Boyfriend dungeon. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm Banksy. Oh, so this is like a different mall? La Rosa. I thought I set up more dates than that. Oh, Kicks Cafe. That's right. Boyfriend Dungeon. You arrive to find Sawyer and Olivia arguing. <gasps> no more freebies. You haven't worked here for like a year. Come on, just one more measly sandwich. I owe a friend big time, please. Is your friend Slick Mick by chance? Huh? How did you know? Oh, hi Slick Mick. I'm just um paying for us both. 
Sawyer digs in their pockets for money, blushing. Oh, here, I found this. How many of these can I give you? Five lumps of sugar. Um, I'll pay. Uh -uh. No, no, Slick Mick, put your money away. But Sawyer, I swear to God, this is the last time, okay? Yeah. You bet. Thanks. You're the best, mm -hmm. Livy. Yeah, I am. You sit at a table and it doesn't look like Sawyer has anything to eat. You want to split this? Oh, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. As you eat, you see their eyes tracking your sandwich carefully, unable to stop staring. No, no, don't slow down. Sorry, let's talk about something else. Um, they swallow hard and avert their eyes. Just have some. At your more forceful invitation, Sawyer takes half of it and wolfs it in two bites. Thanks. Good stuff. Uh... Yeah, I wanted you to have these, okay? Ooh, the five sugar lumps. Thank you. Thank you so much for the sugar. Sawyer smiles, pleased with themselves. Hey, I was looking online yesterday and a lot of weapons in Verona Beach are getting chipped lately. Maybe there's something about the dry summer heat that's making us brittle. Maybe someone's doing it. What, chipping us on purpose? A cereal chipper? I'm not sure what the point would be. I hope they're not targeting students in particular. Oh, that'd be creepy. Their eyes wander back to your plate where only crumbs remain. A wildcat growl erupts from underneath the table. Is there an animal loose in here? You realize it's Sawyer's stomach. Ah, sorry. Even after you shared your sandwich with me, to be honest, I can't afford to eat much. I had a good job for a while, and I get free rent from my mom, but it's hard. How do people afford eating anyway? Is everyone rich? Restaurants are so expensive. Typical college life. And they rip people off. Scones only cost like 10 cents of flour and 10 cents of butter. I'm in a business class and it seems to me that someone could disrupt that market easily. <laughs> Cut out the middleman. Buy the ingredients. You're no one's stopping you from making scones, Sawyer. Go make the scones. No one says you can't make scones. I can make an app that tells you how to make a dish like a restaurant would. You'd save costs by not paying waiters or hostesses too. Boom. What do you think? You just invented cooking. I don't know. I hate business stuff, to be honest. I'm more into history class. I was just taking it for easy credits, but everyone in the class is so competitive. I have to come up with a business idea for my semester project, and this is all I got. My next step would be documenting the process. Cooking, to use the technical term. But I don't even know how to boil an egg. Boy. Hi, Sarah. I love, love you. Too. How's it going? How you doing? I tried once and ended up with a black husk. Um, I could teach you. That would be amazing. I'll do a little research on egg boiling first, but then I'll hit you up for a lesson. If I bring the ingredients, could we... Does it... Will you... What? Sawyer takes a breath and gathers their courage. Is it a date? We'll see. All right, I'll try and play it cool. I got to get to history, but let me know when you're heading to the dunge. I did some first aid on my cracked blade and I'm ready to fight again. I support Sawyer's mission to destroy the scone economy. Heavy attack throws glaive immobilizing enemies. They can still attack. That sounds cool. See ya. Boyfriend dungeon. Sounds like to boil an egg. Wow. <laughs> Imagine Googling, how do you boil an egg? Step one, get boiling water. Step two, put the egg in it. Boyfriend dungeon. You and Seven find your seats as the movie starts. A film features a virtuous hero struggling against the odds to save her son. We can do this, but we have to work together. <laughs> but the son's going to become a sword to save her. A katana, maybe? Before long, the sidekick dies and Seven frowns. Eventually, the hero mother emerges victorious, son standing proudly beside her. The light comes up and you leave the theater. Aw, oh, man. Maybe I set my expectations too high. I mean, it was fine. What did you think? I like the adrenaline. Your heart rate goes up watching this stuff? You the dunge hero? That's kind of funny. Offer a gift? What do I got? Here, I have a teddy bear. Oh, shit. He loves it. He fucking loves it, dude. He loves the teddy bear. Chain lightning reaches further or stuns? Let's go for stuns. Oh, wow. Hi, guys. I totally didn't know you'd be hey. here. Seven makes a face as if pleading silently for rescue. We were just leaving. 
I haven't seen you around the cafe lately, but I wanted to give you something. Seven, I, I wrote this personal yeah. letter. All right, I take it. I'll take it. Fans are important uh -huh. to me. No, uh, that is, sorry, can you deliver it for me? It's for Sung Woo, my ultimate bias. Can you give it to him for me, pretty, pretty, please? He stares at her for several uh -huh. seconds. Nope. Did I arrive just in time for egg jokes? That's yeah, The timing couldn't have been better, yeah. Huh? Fame sure has gone to his head, huh? Olivia holding an envelope. Sungwoo is written with hearts for O's. I have to figure out where Sungwoo's staying, I guess. That's stalking. It's not stalking if I don't bother him. It's just a letter. Nothing creepy in it either. She sighs dreamily and wanders away. You head home. Boyfriend Dungeon. Sounds like to boil an egg, you gotta use a lot of water. Like a whole pot full. Had to go, sorry. Oh, hold on. Talk to you later. Okay. Where did he go? So that was my problem. You have a lot to learn. You bet! <laughs> Anime protagonist ass. <laughs> okay. I have seen everyone that I need to see. I'm going into La Rosa. And I will take Valeria with me to begin. Which one are we hoping to boyfriend? I want, I want the girl. <laughs> Dungeon, uh, fear unidentified. Most monsters at clubs aren't so obvious about it. Call it a, call it a bias. I think between her, if I had to choose like a favorite out of the guys so far, it's definitely Isaac. I don't like seven that much. I don't like seven that much, but seven's a laser sword, so he gets to still be wooed. I'm curious to see what happens with Sawyer. But they're giving off baby vibes, and I don't love it. Isaac is so sappy, though. Yeah, but he's so, like... I don't know, man. He, he, just, he just knows what he's doing, it feels like. Seven is hot? Yeah, seven's not for me. Isaac looks like Ed Idris Elba. A oh, strong strength. So after a good date, you might end up binding Isaac. That's a pretty good joke. That's a pretty good joke. That's a solid one. A plus, dude. A plus. Wouldn't... Ooh. Ooh! Boyfriend Dungeon! You find a set of bladed brass knuckles? Some of the claws are missing. An engraving on the side reads pocket. Huh. Must be a nickname of some kind. Meow. Oh my god, it's a cat? Or a cat girl? No, it's a cat. Is it the cat from the cat cafe in the beginning? Do I get to date a cat? <laughs> Offer her hand to sniff. The cat eyes you wearily, but allows you to come closer. You find a phone number on his collar. <laughs> Boyfriend Dungeon. <laughs> hey, enjoy the game. It's uh, it's a wild ride so far. It is a wild ride so far. Oh, 
Oh shit. I love how they bait you with the boyfriend title. They throw some women, enemies, and cats at you. I love it. They got they let you choose to be whatever you want. They let you get with whatever you want. It's tr it's perfect. It's inclusive. <laughs> Ooh, cash machine has two options. Liquidate access. Let's liquidate. Machine broke. Oh, I got liquid for that. I wonder if you like, like, I wonder what's going to happen when you go to like date the cat. Like, are they going to have you date the cat's owner? Like, what's going to happen there? Summer dress recipe. Fresh air down here. Now that is the most magical, fantastical thing I've seen yet. She breathes in deep, filling her lungs with the warm night air. Would you like to offer a gift? No, those are... Exit, yes. Nah, I, I got nothing good right now. Gotta love summer nights, or do you? What's your favorite? No, it's summer. Unless you're just agreeing with me. If you're lying to me, well, at least about something harmless, I guess. I sort of love all the seasons. At least in places that have them. Unlike Verona Beach. Maybe someday we can go on a trip together, somewhere with an exotic climate. I look like a f like Freddie Mercury. I've been getting that a lot, a lot lately. Yeah, I think it's because of the tight shirt. I think it's the tight shirt that's giving it, giving it away. It's absolutely the shirt. <laughs> And the chest hair, that's right. Fox hood recipe. I feel like my fears here so far are lasers and, and alcohol. What do you guys think that means? What do you think I'm afraid of here? And music notes. You think I'm afraid of nightclubs? Or like something? Maybe I'm afraid of raves? Yeah, I don't know. Afraid of having a good time. Damn. Feel like a break? Yeah, in the in the Valentine's Day room? Oh my. Um, this isn't my kind of thing, to be honest. I hope you didn't do this for me. I hate the big public displays and convenient shorthand, you know? I mean, I do like romance. I just wanted to be personal, special, and just between two people. An ex and I once invented a whole secret language just for us. That's kind of cute. <laughs> well, chopping up monsters together is pretty romantic for me. <laughs> Last one to critical hit is a rotten egg. The dialogue, I love it. Intimacy slash getting to know people. It's all valid theories here. Now, what have we here? Would you like to offer a gift? No, I got nothing. Huh? This bar has all the whiskey. A girl could get used to this. She slides behind the bar, pours a double shot for herself, and raises a eyebrow at you. Sure, why not? Honestly, I could think of many reasons, but let's pretend we're drunken mm -hmm. masters. She pours you a drink and sips her own. Every muscle of her face relaxes in pleasure. Just kidding. Drunken masters were always hand-to-hand, -hand, no sharp edges. It's too dangerous for stumbling around. I wouldn't want to hurt you after all. Um... Unless I have to, you know? To protect my secrets. Uh... <laughs> sketchy, dude. 
There's a hand. And, a, and lips. Yeah, maybe, maybe... Maybe it is like intimacy or something. The lasers confuse me though. The lasers are throwing me off here. Are they security cameras or lasers? I guess they might be security cameras. I'm sure we'll find out. I'm sure we're gonna find out eventually. Okay, we've maxed with her. Um, let's bring seven back out. Travel guide recipe. Ooh, nice. Long exhale as if he's been holding his breath. You sit together quietly on one of the benches. Mm. Can't see that many stars here in Verona Beach anymore. Too much light pollution. When I was growing up, I loved stargazing at the constellations. I even had a little telescope. Do you like science? <laughs> Both science and the myths, I guess. Yeah. Giant balls of gas who were also heroes and creatures. I tracked my favorite constellation every night. The Pale Dancer. An old goddess of death and victory. Uh... And we moved to Seoul and I couldn't see the constellations anymore. I watched music videos any instead. Let's go stargazing sometime. If you want. Maybe we, if we went to the beach at night sometime, we could see more. A gift? Sorry. Nope. <laughs> I got nothing. He's a low level, so I think he's doing less. But oh, I found glue for the first time. Nice. A bit more, a uh, bit more levels for him, a bit more experience. Bucket recipe, cool. Make a bucket now, I guess. 
Didn't know you were so campy. It's like Cupid's Nightmare in Hell. I just found it, man. <laughs> Access. I'll go there in a second. Was shrimp at first. Nope, just a weird demon hand. I wish. What are you truly afraid of? Well, if we had to symbolize it, I'd use wine glasses, shrimp, and kisses. That's right, I'm worthy. Steel. Yeah, I'm buying some steel. And some glue. Oh, glue costs steel. Dark essence. I can buy it for some glass or some liquid. Holy energy for five steel. Or for two darkness. I'll take it. I'll buy some more steel. Get out of my face already. Can't you see I'm shopping here? Okay, we're maxed out. Back to my trusty friend, Isaac. Dude, Isaac attacks really fast. I can finally give him the the sword cuffs. Ah, finally a place with taste. I thought that was impossible in the dungeon. They're one of the best wines, but perhaps we can find a little digestif. Ah, yes. Perfect. A bottle from some crevice under the bar. Here's a lovely Cardamaro. Not an Amaro, you see, but a wine. Okay, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're. I do wonder what cocktails an expert bartender might put into it. Uh, let's make one. He pulls out an assortment of liquors and liqueurs. Together you select a few. There's no stirring spoon. Here, use me to stir and we'll see. You almost spit it out. It's like someone poured cough syrup into a handful of dirt. Well, we tried. In retrospect, a waste of fine carda cardamaro. But we learned in the process. Offer a gift. You're gonna love these, bro. You're gonna freaking love these. Ooh, nice. Holy energy and dark essence. Green lasers now.
Ow, you poked me. Don't do that. Gold bar. Worth ten whole dollars. Let's go. Dude, we're already on floor eight? Oh shoot, I wasn't. Still wanna try out the glaive. Man, what a mess. Can you not switch weapons mid floor? I wonder actually. No, I can look at the combos. I didn't know I could combo like that. Oh shit. That's sick. I did not know that was an option. Billiards? All right. Um, Isaac isn't bad, but seems distracted. Is something wrong? It's nothing really. I wish I could try the original 1500s version. The green velvet is so modern. Maybe it's because this version is a favorite of my father's, but I'd rather be under the sun, on the grass, or even even using a mace instead of a cube, perhaps. That's croquet. True, it did evolve into croquet as well, eventually. The little wickets are rather charming, too. This was nice, though. Life's the art of making the best of what we have. When life gives us monsters, we make monster aid. Boo. Fell pretty flat there, bud. Weapon. She's maxed. All right, Sawyer, it's me and you now. Cool. This feels like Hades. Oh, I lock him in place when I do that? Let's take a stop. Whoa. This reminds me of a Valentine's bear I gave my friend in fourth grade. It was really cute when it was a cute little white teddy bear holding a red heart. I thought it was just a nice toy she'd like, but the other kids thought it meant I had a crush. They teased me and her endlessly, and I found the bear in the trash. We didn't talk much after that. Uh. So, uh, what is this? Just a nice play to be, or are you? Do you? I mean, let's make out. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me. It's nice to be with you here. 
Careful when you swim me. I wouldn't want to pop a balloon. Easy peasy. Give me the money. Shit, shit, shit. I'm almost dead. Who is the glaive? It's Sawyer. Non binary high. Just college kid. Looks like a little baby though. They definitely don't look old enough to be to be my weapon. <laughs> How do we do, Sawyer? Nice. Level 17. Level 18. Level 19. Level 20. Level 21. Uh, level 22. Oh, I'm gonna stop this. I'm sorry. I'm a gladiator now. Beep boop. Beep boop. Sleep heavily, and when it's morning, your eyelids feel sticky like they don't want to open. You remember today's your birthday. Another year closer to death. Wow. Okay. Way to just be so fucking melodramatic about it. I'm not alone. You think about all the friends you made recently and can't help but smile as you get up. Package outside your door waiting for you. It's for mom, and it's cool to the touch. It's a cake. She must have schemed to make sure it arrived refrigerated. To my only son on his special day. You're about to cut a slice when there's a knocking at the door. Answer it. Is it going to be my cousin? Happy birthday. Yeah. I uh, brought a friend. I hope that's okay. Happy birthday. I heard there might be cake. Your mom said she sent over a cake and we bought some little presents. Nothing huh? special. Yeah, don't get too excited. I didn't have much warning and I don't like shopping. So, well, you'll, you'll see. It's tradition for the birthday boy to use a weapon friend to cut the cake. You up for it, Valeria? Yeah. Of course, I'm a bit short, but if Slick Mick wants me to, I'm in. What do you think? I mean, we don't have to. Let's do this. <laughs> oh my god, the dagger's happy. The dagger loves me. This is it, the greatest challenge we've faced together. Geometry. Valeria feels warm and confident in your hands. You carefully slice the cake into even pieces together. Mmm, that special birthday cake flavor. So vanilla, so sugar. Huh? Yeah, a bit too sweet. It kind of makes me crave a bit of whiskey, even this early on in the day. But now's a good time to give Slick Mick my little gift. Here, hand you a small canvas. It's a colorful painting of Verona Beach. Aww. I made it real quickly. It's okay if you don't like it. I love it. If you decide you don't like it, feel free to give it back. I could sell it or paint yeah. over it. Don't you dare paint over it. Slick Mick, if you don't like it, I'll take it. Eh, if you insist, I have plenty of work left over. Anyway, here, I got you a little something too. A phoenix cap recipe. Nice. Hat looked like a little dorky... Looked like a little dorky anime. But it sounded useful for the dunge. Can't wait to make it. Good, I almost went with socks. 
Whetstone, geez, 180 first. Those are personal. Hi ho! Uh, get the message. Remember, I didn't get one. Crisis averted. Anyway, Mick, if you're another year older and wiser. Congrats. I'm glad you shared this birthday with us here in Verona yeah. Beach. Definitely. Finally, there's someone around I can share secrets uh. with. What kind of secrets? None of your business, yeah. punk. Boyfriend dungeon. Oh, nice. On the way home, I find some steel on the ground for Slick Mick. Okay. Hey, can I ask you something? Oh, man. That's, that's one of those texts where you, like, start bracing yourself. Want to join when I paint my new mural? You can be my muse. Eh, is Jake going to be there? Phoenix cap. Oh, dude, it's easy to make. You made Phoenix cap. Am I Jesse? <laughs> I could see the parallels. I could see a couple of parallels. Oh, dude, I can make the knight's helmet. Make a bucket. To make a fox hood. Make this. I'm just going to make everything. Got to make the presents. Silver ring. Racing game. All right. I've made all the presents I can. Summer dress. Do knight armor? Oh, fuck. I wish I had more wire. Be walking around in armor, dude. Oh, nice. You can now access the console in your apartment. Oh, I get it. Huh. Trick is getting those corners nice and tight. Fuck. I went on easy mode, dude. This is a banger. This is a certified banger right now. Oh, nice. I'm playing video games in my room instead of going on dates. Boyfriend Dungeon decided to make this game as accurate as my actual high school dating life, so I'm playing video games in my room. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of like my right now dating life. I'm literally playing video games in my room. <laughs> I do it all the time. This is so funny. I gotta win hard mode now. It's a sick course. Oh, I'm gonna catch you, number one.
Fuck. Final lap. Yeah, that's right. I took that corner quick, punk. First and first and first and first and first. Okay. Now that that's done, I can go back to checking my phone. Nope, just you and me. What do you say? Sounds good. Really? Wow, nice. Midnight. The mu <gasps> we're gonna we're gonna graffiti the museum. Dark clothes. Seriously though, black. Sorry, I've been quiet. Time with you has been healing. Can you come to my old office? My father's officially taken over, and I want to confront him once and for all. I'll be there. I should be there for this. I can do this. I mean, we can do this, Isaac. Oh, the cat. My cat was missing for a while and just reappeared with his phone number in his mouth, so I guess he found him. Thanks. If so, I was really worried. No problem. Okay, I was looking up what to cook. This might be a little complicated. The new hotness. Grilled cheese. What do you think? Is it too hard? Can we do it? It'll be fine. Boy, boyfriend touch. Oh, wow. That was... I didn't expect that so quick. Okay. All right. I'm not sure which recipe to follow, so I got a few different things. Sorting through the bags, you find five different cheeses and various fruits. You can see fear in Sawyer's eyes as they look at the expensive ingredients. Let's make it simple. All right, simple I can do, probably. And eh, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. We'll see what happens. You show them how to grate cheese and melt butter in a pan. That wasn't so hard. The next step says that there's some kind of weird TBSP cheese. What's a tubspa? The... How do you not know this? We mostly ate out when I was growing up, so I never learned. And they don't teach cooking in school anymore. Sorry if I ask dumb questions. I feel like I can be honest with you and ask you anything. You seem nice, but are you secretly judging me? Nope, or nope, lie. A little. Aww. I probably deserve it. I'd judge me a little too if I were you. I was just trying to be honest. There was a kid I knew who didn't learn how to tie her shoes until fifth grade. I guess I'm a little like her, at least until I absorb all your cooking skills. There we go. Now I can cut the bread and the cheese. Sure, thanks. You awkwardly cut bread with Sawyer's blade. They're a bit long to do so comfortably. Uh, that was less awesome than I hoped. I guess I'm better for killing monsters. Maybe if there was a monster made out of bread, then I'd set. You assemble the cheese on the bread and put it in the frying pan. So random question, did you go to college? Yes, I did. Wow, you're already done? That's so cool. Sorry if my question was random. I'm so random like that. I wanted to ask, because you seem like you have it all figured out, but if you've graduated, that makes sense. Maybe I'll be more like you someday. Wait, do you smell that? Is our baby burning? Looks like the heat was on high, even though the recipe said medium. You have created burnt Aww. mess. Oh, it's okay, Sawyer. Let's try again. Do we have to? Your encouragement seems to calm them down. They look at you and take a deep breath. Okay, I can do this. Medium heat. Reassemble sandwich in the pan, medium heat, carefully flip. It is grilled cheese. Nice! Okay. When the glaive returns from being thrown, do damage to all enemies nearby or glaive. Oh, faster. Definitely faster. They wolf down the sandwich a bit too quickly, burning their mouth. Ooh, that was good. Plus, the ingredients for this were like three bucks. If I cook instead of going to restaurants, I might be able to afford a textbook someday. Would you like to offer a gift? No, I'm okay. Sawyer's phone beeps. They glance at it and their jaw drops. Fridge! There's been a Roses of Venus sighting in Verona Beach. I gotta go. <laughs> I'm not spilling her identity. No. Where? On the side of the mall. Like, down with capitalism, up with love, right? Yeah, I guess I shouldn't let my business professors hear me say that. Anyway, I gotta go see the mural for myself. Later, chef. Okay, bye. Boyfriend. Boyfriend Dungeon. Boyfriend Dungeon. If you say so, OMW. I like how these texts definitely arrived late.
Whoa. Okay, hold on. Who? Still thinking about that movie. The characters were so stupid. The villain should have seen them coming. Fictional characters make the worst decisions. Makes a good story. <laughs> Someone writes my biography. Will they make me look dumb to sell a couple, to sell more copies? I hope not. You do a just fine enough job of that yourself, bud. My agent gave me comp tickets to a concert. It'll probably be awful. Some newbie local doesn't even have light sticks. Not that you'd need one since I'll be there. Whatever. Want to go with me? Sure. It's at La Rosa. I'll meet you there. Wait a minute. That's the club that Sunder owns. Oh, I don't want to go there, dude. I don't like Seven either. Seven's got a real, like, I like making fun of stuff vibe. I don't that's not my favorite vibe. That grilled cheese put me into a sleep coma. They should sell it as a sedative. Tastiest sedative in the world. Glad you liked it. Very much. Just have to not eat one before a test. Oh, but I forgot to tell you. I was so pumped from yesterday that I made breakfast all by myself. The egg wasn't blackened at all. I cut the bread myself too. I feel so powerful. Congrats. Text me and I'll let him out. He likes to roam. Let him out. Let the cat out. Yeah. Hello? Hey. What's up? Okay. Looks like he's headed to the park. Little killer. Okay. All right, it's it's seven. We've done a great job dungeoning. I think I'm going to wrap for the day, y'all. I think I'm going to wrap for the day. Hope you guys had a good time hanging out. We, we might play this more. I feel like I've gotten my fill, but maybe we'll play it more. Um, I'm going to stream through the weekend, by the way, everybody. So, um... Instead of streaming not on Sunday and Monday, I will be streaming on Sunday and Monday because next week I'm going to be taking a few days off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and probably Saturday to do some stuff with some friends. What happens? You're supposed to smash all the customers? No, they're swords. And you're supposed to wield them. You're supposed to wield them. But yeah, we'll have some weekend streams this weekend. So, um, yeah. I will see you guys around. Let's find a raid target. Super Sonic, some Sonic the Hedgehog 1 speedruns. He just started up a little bit ago. Raid Super Sonic. Love you too, Jack. All right, we've got a nice raid running through, guys. Let's throw some, uh, some emote in his chat, some emotes in his chat. Feel free, feel free to throw down some moist squirts with me when we head over. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Noon, like usual. So, yes, have a fantastic evening. And farewell.